Welcome to another stream of Slay the Spire, where apparently there is a button here now. It always used to say Vitivus, but now it has like a a fire? What is this? Huh. Is that edit? Oh, that's just uh, changing your name, apparently. Hmm. Weird. I suppose they go right along with the uh, characters. If you see here, this would be the um, ironclad. The kunai is going to be, of course, the uh, silent. And I guess the electricity is the defect? I believe that's their names, right? Isn't that right? Ironclad, silent, defect. Right, 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 right. We're not quite ready to start yet, I just wanted to make sure I didn't get their names wrong. It's been a long time since I played this game. Ah, man, I have so many games on Steam now. It's absolutely insane how many games I have. But I the problem is I can't stream them all. If I could stream every single game that I have, like, I could stream probably, like, one game for every day of the year, almost. Uh, that is, if I was streaming every single day of the year. Because I almost have enough for that. I think. Let me check and see here real quick. Yeah, I'm up to 334 games on Steam, so it's pretty close to one for every day of the year. But then again, I mean, that's counting all my Civilization 4s that I'm looking at here. You know, you wouldn't want to play Beyond the Sword, Colonization, and Warlords. You just, you play whatever's the latest one, which I believe is Beyond the Sword, if I remember correctly. But yeah, it probably is taking all those games into account, too. So I suppose that uh, doesn't make too much sense if you think about it. Oh, yummy. Oh, the water's so good. I had to get water because my throat is just so bugging me today. And the major problem is it's just like it's so deep, like you can't get it out. And it's not that it's affecting breathing or anything, it's just really annoying. I like try to breathe in and it's like not as deep as you want it to be because I guess it is affected it's just it's not like choking or preventing me from breathing or anything like that which is good if that happens that would be a pretty terrible way to go anyway I think we're gonna be about ready here probably give it a little bit more so I can drink a little bit more of this delicious water man there is something about ice water ice water is just so good so good. Alright, yeah, we should be ready to go here. Let me make sure I turn the starting soon off. Don't want that on. Not at all. Everything's good. As you can see, I can click back on the window. I don't know why that happened, but it clearly did happen. I don't think I have the proof, though, because I think I got rid of those streams because they weren't worth putting on YouTube. But I, I don't know. I never got any information from anybody else on Steam saying this happened to them. Oh, shit. Don't want that open. Jeez. Yeah, I had that uh, that window that was playing my video for my free, um, free points on Game Team. Which, by the way, I just got another three games on Game Team, which do look very interesting. So hopefully I should be um, recording more for my YouTube channel here soon. I just wanted to catch up on my backlog, and I've pretty much caught up on my backlog. I have like five streams to unlock on YouTube or something like that. And doing two a day, that, that shouldn't be a problem. Not at all. It should get done here. What this? What is this compendium? Oh yeah, right, I remember that. Alright, so what are we doing here? I can't even remember. He's got all of his stuff. She does not. He does. 
Well, I guess we know what we're doing. We are playing the, uh, the silent. And... Holy shit. Oh my god, she actually beat Ascension. Damn it. That means that was probably the stream I didn't get to in time. This is one of the reasons why I'm being more attentive with Twitch. Because this... Just previous stream of uh, Silly the Spire, it said that it was expiring in like a day or something, so I was like, oh yeah, I better get that going, better get it exported, and it just wouldn't export. And then after a while, it just wouldn't play, and it wouldn't do anything. I couldn't download it, I couldn't do anything. I was like, well, it was probably on the verge of being deleted, but they didn't let me save it, so I'm being more attentive to my streams for sure. I don't I don't want them to be lost. I want them to be archived. I really do. So on Ascension, you get normal enemies are deadlier. Good. Good stuff. As if they weren't deadly enough, let's jump right in and be the silent, which I think is honestly one of the harder characters. She is very interesting though. I love her poisons. Her poisons are so cool. What are we doing? Obtain a random rare card, max HP by seven. Or obtain a curse and gain a lot of gold. That is that is interesting. But I don't yeah, I don't see really any shops that we can make use of that gold, so that's probably not the one I want to do. Uh well, we're definitely fighting elites, that's for sure. Just can I get away with fighting only like one? That would be nice. I do believe I can. I see a oh there is a shop right here. Hmm. Honestly, I think I'm just going to take the rare card. Ah, in Venom? Sure. Not even a problem. That actually might be one that we would want to go ahead and prioritize leveling up as well. And Venom leveled up is great, because it just makes it so that it's it's cheaper to, to use. So I don't know if I want to go to the shop now. Seems eh, a little iffy. We'll probably actually tr uh, head for these triple question marks here. I'm liking that. And then head for this guy, fire right after him, and then we'll be free to not have any more elites, which is good. Because remember, it's going to be harder, and I suck at this game. I'm horrible at this game. Oh, look at that Envenom already. Well, well, this guy is a little bit stronger, so I probably don't want to use Envenom just yet. But I can defend, survivor away a defend, blocking all damage, and strike, and then turn. Because we don't want to take damage, that's for sure. But we can neutralize, that's fine. Strike, strike, we don't need defense. All good. And now he's weaker, which is great. Um... Maybe Survivor away a strike. Just so that I don't take any damage. I would love to take no damage. Wow, thanks for giving me all these defense. Really good. Good stuff. Oh my god, he's getting so much stronger. Neutralize again. This actually might be the time to invent him. Or maybe not. Maybe just triple strike. Triple strike's a lot of damage. Will it kill him? Not quite. But it is close. We'll just eat the 11 damage, of course. That is fine. Damn it. With me. God, I hate his dumb armor. He's dead now. Finally. It only took 11 damage, that's not too bad. Um, yeah, we'll take a slice. It's free. I like free cards. Take another drink here real quick. And let's look here. Let's go this way. I will neutralize you because you're actually attacking. And I think I'll just strike him. We'll use one defense so we take no damage. 
and we'll strike this guy because it'll actually do some damage to him. If we struck him, it would just break his shield. It would be worthless. But it actually did three damage to the other guy, so that's pretty cool. How much does Slice do? Five? Huh. Okay, okay, I see. So, of course, we're going to double defend. That is for sure. And I think I'm going to kill this dude. Let's kill him off, because he's stronger, so... We don't want to deal with his strength. He's dead. Good stuff. Blade Dance is interesting. Finisher could also be really good. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm going to go with Finisher. Mainly because we've already picked up the one zero cost card. Upgrade two random cards, lose 14 HP. Sure. Yes, look at that. And Venom, how lucky is that? That's just crazy luck. Well, thank you. Blood Vial, which is not amazing, but not terrible. Oh, we could heal. We could heal. I don't want to regret. Regret is so bad. You know, I think... Oh, we could do the max HP, too. I think I'm just going to go for the heal. It's a bit weird, but we're going right into an elite fight, and I knew it was going to be the Goblin Knob, of course. But look, we got an Venom. Perfect. That's some good stuff. Neutralize. Uh, we'll do the Strike Plus for sure, because that's more damage. Strike. Good stuff. He's going to be really powerful. Oh my god, that is a lot of power. Really scary. Just get him down as soon as possible. We have a fire right after this, so it's all good. I might survive her just for the high defense, but we're not going to defend because that will just give him even more strength, which we do not want to do. Neutralize. Finisher. Sure, it doesn't do much. Not going to defend because, like I said, just going to give him more strength. We don't want to do that. Strike plus. Uh, da, 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 what do we got? So oh, he's doing a really small attack here. That's awesome. He's almost dead. Almost dead. What are you doing? Oh, vulnerable? That's not super great, but you are dead, dude. Dead. Good. What the hell is this? Oh, you can now gain strength at rest sites. That could be interesting. And Catalyst is really good, but I kind of feel like we gotta go with Deadly Poison first. And do we gain strength... Do we smith or do we rest? Ooh, I don't know. This gives us 2 HP at the start of each combat, so maybe resting is not the way to go. I mean, we could smith, smith neutralize. In fact, I think that's what I'm going to do. It's a little risky, but neutralize is just so good for keeping you safer. Maybe not safe, totally safe, but safer. I will definitely take that heal. Good thing I didn't sleep. Let's go this way. We'll go for the question mark. A tiny chest. Alright, cool. It's all good. And here's a shop. What do I want at the shop? Do I want to remove any cards? Uh, not necessarily. Not, not right now, anyway. Drop into frames, so let's just let it be. What the hell is that? Chrysalis. Add three random skills into your draw pile. They cost zero this combat. Oh. Huh. That's interesting. I can just barely afford that. This is new. Gain 30 block. You cannot gain block from cards for the next two turns. Well, that sounds kind of scary. What's its upgrade? 40 block? Huh. Doesn't seem like a particularly useful card. But I do see one that is useful. What's this? This is new. Hand drill. Whenever you break an enemy's block, apply to vulnerable. Hey, that's kind of nice. Or a calcum would be nice, too. But I think we gotta go with noxious fumes. I mean, if it's there, you gotta get it. It's just, it's something you have to get. 
And I think we might go with... Ooh, I don't know. Heal Hook could be useful. So, yeah, since we've got that upgraded, and we'll go with Backstab too, because, you know, Backstab is just some nice early damage. And Heal Hook can definitely be useful when you have upgraded Neutralize. That's kind of why I went for it, and I was like, okay with it. Ah, there's Noxious Fumes. Good stuff. There is also in Venom, which I might be interested in. We could Heal Hook for free. So I'm thinking Neutralize him. And if the enemy is weak. So it's gotta be him, right? Yeah, it's gotta be him that I have to do this on. Let's do it. That makes it free. And it gives us a card. That's right. That's cool. Backstab could almost just kill that little slime. Hmm. Almost, but not quite. No, I don't. I think we're gonna focus on him. No, no, no. Ah, damn it. I should have been Venom first. Would have been more poison damage, but hey, live and learn. He's dead anyway, so it doesn't really matter. He's gonna do something, just weaken us. It's no problem. Not really a problem anyway. Strike. And he's got a tiny bit of incoming damage. We can block that up just fine. Good stuff. Uh, strike plus. Ought to kill him. Yep. Good job. Attack potion. Very nice. Bouncing flask is awesome. But there's another slice. I'm going to go for it. We have finisher. It is so good to get these zero cards with finisher. Uh, there's finisher right there. Speak of the devil. Oh, this could work out really well. Let's see here. How do we want to do this? Actually, well, this is easy. We backstab this dude because he just straight up dies. And I think we neutralize this one because he's going to do a stronger attack. And we can heal hook him for the extra draw and the free energy. And finisher will do... Oof, it's a lot of damage. 18 damage. That will totally finish that guy off. Good. Deadly poison him, and defend. Wow, see, that was really good. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of time to plan out your attack, and he's dead. It can really help to take that time to think about what you want to do, though. Uh, footwork could be useful. Actually, I think I will go footwork. We haven't been working on our block at all, so that will definitely make our block cards more potent. If we can get it in time. Let's check this out. No, it's these dudes. That's not too much of a problem. What exactly do I want to do? Unfortunately, I don't have... Um, what's it called? Shoot, what's it called? Ah, neutralize, that's what it's called. We don't have neutralize, so heal hook's not gonna work as effectively, which is unfortunate, but fine. Ah, we did get our stab here, or our slice. I didn't want that. Uh, we will backstab, probably this dude. The way you want to kill these guys is you don't want to kill them one at a time. You kind of want to kill them both in the same turn, so you don't have to suffer from their vul uh, vulnerability. So, I think... Think. Well, we've only got one defend anyway, so I think I'll go ahead and deadly poison this dude, because it's going to do more damage over time, I believe. Slice. And we're not going to heal hook, because it won't be free. We're not going to strike. We'll, we'll just defend and block as much um, block as much as we can. I'm not going to worry about that attack potion. There we go. Alright, and they're both not attacking. That's kind of nice. Uh, what a bad hand to get Finisher in. That's terrible. But I suppose it is fine, because we can go ahead and slice him up. Slice him up. Yeah, that puts them pretty low. We don't have to worry about any more cards. And they should be dead next turn, I would imagine. Yes? Maybe? Maybe not. No, I think they are dead. I just have to invent him. And, well, this guy's dead already, so just slice, strike, dead. He's dead from poison, so it's all good. 
Not too shabby. Could have been better. Um, I don't think bullet time is going to be something that I need, really. Sucker Punch could be good. That's another way of weakening, which means another way of getting a free energy from Heal Hook, which I'm, I'm always for that. Don't think I'm too interested in going to the store. So let's head this way. Maybe I should have gone to the store. And Venom, Noxious Fumes, of course. Uh, we'll definitely backstab, might as well. Heal Hook does 5 damage and, and a normal strike does 6, so we'll definitely strike. Good stuff. There's the Neutralize. Uh, we'll definitely Footwork, too. Definitely gonna Neutralize. Definitely Strike Plus. And Strike. That should split him. But he, I believe he splits after the poison, so they should have 21 health apiece. Yes. He does split after the poison. Awesome. Uh, we got Finisher, which is nice. That pretty much just means one of them's dead, I think. Because I can Sucker Punch. Slice. Yeah. I guess I'll Finisher him, I suppose. Try and sp spread the love a little bit. They're not going to attack, so, I mean, why not spread the love around? They're not even attacking still. These guys are f afraid. They are dead. Goodbye. I don't know why they weren't attacking. Ooh, this block could be useful. Return. I wonder if the speed... Speed potion is probably a little better. I don't think the strength potion is that good. So we'll take the block potion, because it can come in handy. Ah, deflect is free block. I don't know if I want it, though. I think I'm going to go with dagger throw, just because it's a little bit of a uh, draw for the deck. Which we probably do need. Who are we fighting? Fighting the hex one. I feel like I've got a lot of damage. I've got poisons. I've got this attack potion, which I will probably... Oh, you get to choose from one of three random attack cards? Really? Wow, that's new. That's not the way it happened before. You just drank it and it just gave you a free card. Free random card. Huh. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to try and lift. Or maybe Smith? I don't know. Do I want a Smith? I mean, I could do Noxious Fumes. Smithed up is so good. It's unbelievably good. Finisher's really good, too. Backstab really isn't that worth it. Oh, footwork's good, too. And there's so many good options. So very many good options. Ah, oh, man. I kind of want to raise my strength. Yeah, you know what? We'll, we'll go ahead and do that. I've never actually done this before. And you can only do it to a maximum of three anyway, so if we do it early, you know, maybe it's not a bad thing. At least this will make our attacks more potent, which is kind of awesome. Mm, let's see, we can weaken him. Wait. Oh, you can't see it. Wait, can you see it if you go to... I think if you go to your card, your deck, you should be able to see what its upgraded version is. Yes, you can. Okay, good. I was wondering if it upgraded to apply more weak, or if it was just more damage. But it's actually more damage and more weak, which is just amazing. Sucker Punch for the weak. Which probably isn't going to do much at all, now that I think about it. Strike. Backstab for free. And another strike, because we don't need defense right now. And do we dare do an attack potion now, or do we wait? I think I'm going to wait. I don't think I want to do it quite yet. That's a lot of damage. I think we'll pop the speed potion. Go ahead and double defend for 20. That's pretty close to blocking everything. Go ahead and drink. What do I want? Skewer could be interesting. Not for now, but later. Actually, I can do that and block almost everything. Might as well. He is not weakened anymore. Actually, I could just Survivor. Yeah, I'll just Survivor away the heal hook. I don't need it anyway. There we go. Probably didn't even need to drink that potion, but whatever, it's fine. 
It's all good. There's noxious fumes. Uh, deadly poison. Um, do I want a dagger throw? Not particularly. Probably just defend. Just take one damage. That's fine. Much better than taking more. There's Venom. There's Neutralize. But again. Again with no other thing, man. No uh, Heal Hook. That's it. Uh, do we have Footwork? Uh, probably not. I don't think it's going to be too bad. Let's just Strike and then Finisher for tons of damage. Remember, Finisher does strike multiple times, so it does affect Envenom multiple times as well, which, of course, is just good. How can you say no to that? I can't say no to that. I think now we'll footwork. We'll do one defend, just so we don't take any damage, and we'll just not worry about that too much. I need a little bit of good stuff. There's Heal Hook. Good stuff. There's Neutralize. There's Heal Hook, which gives us a draw. Skewer would do 8 times 3, which is about 24 damage. That's a lot of damage. But I think I'm going to use Dagger Throw. Get rid of the Defend, because we don't even need it. Yeah. Yeah, Skewer is not going to do as much damage as Finisher is in the end. Because we can Strike... And then Finisher is going to do a whopping 28 damage. Not to mention, apply, what, 4 poison, I believe? Not bad. This guy is going to die before he even gets to do that big attack again. Damn. Sucks to be him. Yeah, that is a pretty sizable amount of damage there. We'll definitely defend. We'll Sucker Punch. We'll Strike Plus. And that'll be it. Yeah, block most of it, at least. Deadly Poison. Slice. Strike. And he's dead. Uh, defend, just just so that the burn doesn't hurt us. I mean, there's no reason to, but whatever. <laughs> Done. After Image is pretty good. I think I'm going to take After Image because I've got a lot of zero cards right now. What does this do again? Gain energy and discard two cards at the start of each turn. I don't really like that too much. Oh, I don't like any of these, actually. Yeah, I think I'm just going to skip those. They're all terrible. Yeah, they're all horrible. See? I hate it when they give you all terrible relics like that, and people are like, well, you could take the Velvet Choker, the Velvet Choker's great, but no, the Velvet Choker is trash. It's horrible, especially if you're playing as the, uh, the Silent, which, of course, I am. You don't want to be having this Velvet Choker, trust me, because you want to be chaining cards like crazy. Uh, there might be a way to get through this without fighting an Elite at all. Which would be preferable. I do believe there is. It's actually not a bad way through as well. Yes. Yes, I found the way through. Okay, we're gonna go... Where do I want to start, though? I've got some money, so a shop might not be a bad idea. We'll start here, I think. Oh, that was a good start. Just this dude. Not so bad. Well, after image first... Uh, we'll definitely backstab, because that's just free. Ooh, I got finisher, which is interesting. Hmm. Do I defend? I think I will defend. And, uh, man, I can't really do much with finisher. It's just 7 damage versus 10 damage. We'll just do the 10 damage. Much better. Take a little bit of damage, but not too much. Uh, neutralize him up. He's going to do his... Glorious Hex, which is a horrible effect. Slice. Strike. Do as much damage as possible. There we go. There's the Hex. So we want to try not to do anything but attacks, but more than likely we will have to do more stuff. That's fine. Sucker Punch. Slice. Dagger Throw. Ooh, and Venom is interesting. 
I'll let Venom, sure. It's gonna give us a daze, sure, but I think it's worth it in the long run. And I don't really want a Noxious Fumes, but I do kinda need it. He is also weak, so Heal Hook will give us a draw. And it's just a daze, great. Fantastic, well, let's double defend. Because we don't wanna take too much damage. Sure, it's going to give us a ton of dazes, but it's going to block most of the damage at least, or at least some of it. So footwork, heal hook. I should be almost dead. At least we Noxious Fumes, which, I mean, he's dead, he's dead. He's dead this turn. That's it. Boom. Dead. Good stuff. Poison Potion, which is alright. Dodge and Roll is not very good. I mean, another Sucker Punch might not be a terrible idea, but we've already got one. I think I'll just take a Dagger Spray for the AoE, because we have zero AoE, so yeah, we might want some AoE. It might be a good thing. Gain 5 max HP, but lose 18 HP, or become Cursed with Decay. Ugh. What does it look like here? Uh, I guess I can try it. I guess we'll try the gain uh, max HP. I mean, I guess I could have taken the curse, because there's a store here. I could have just removed it. But I'd rather not... Oh, Apoth. Well, that's a that's a guaranteed purchase there. You don't, you don't not purchase Apoth. You just don't. When the game smiles upon you and gives you Apoth, you do not do that. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take uh, upgraded all strikes and defense. Not a problem. I, I didn't really have anything I wanted to remove. Another merchant? Ah. You jest, game. You jest. Alright, here goes nothing. There's Apoth. Probably should have played After Image first, but eh, maybe I don't want to play After Image after all right now. I only have one thing to be able to do. Gain 8 block. Eight block sounds pretty good to me, so we'll backstab that dude. And we will gain eight block, so that we can block something, at least. Gonna take a shitload of damage, though. That's just the way it is. Noxious fumes. And deadly poison. Slice. And a strike plus. And it's not gonna be enough, is it? What does this do again? By six poison, will that be enough to kill him? It will. I think that is for the best. That way we take much less damage. Good stuff. And Venom, well, maybe not. Yeah, let's invent him. Neutralize is free. And Finisher, unfortunately, is not going to be amazing, but we'll do it anyway. Don't need any of the other cards right now. He's poisoned, and he is going to try and get away, but I don't think he's going to make it. We can almost break his shield there. And dagger Spray could be good. I want to try Dagger Throw first, I think. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for, to get a zero. Uh, let's see. I think we'll get rid of a single strike. We'll slice him, and Dagger Spray for the death. Not getting away with my gold. Itch. Alright, so we could just have this for discardable energy, but probably not the best. Ah, hell, I'll take it. It could be a way of getting energy. And we are very, very low on HP, so we're definitely going to rest. It was a little bit dangerous. We'll head over this way. Oh, this is even worse, I think. There's Apoth. Apoth, again, is very interesting. There's a way to discard Tactician, too. Okay, so I think we do Apoth. We do Dagger Throw on this dude, because he has the lowest HP. And then we discard Tactician just to get two free energy. Look at that. That's not bad at all. Noxious Fumes. We backstab... Well, maybe not. Hold on. Do we Envenom first, or do we want to do something else? I think we do want to Envenom, and then we'll backstab this dude. Let's just keep him going down. 
No, I could have done that different. Well, actually, I couldn't have done it differently. No, I couldn't have done it differently. Never mind. I was going to say I could have played um, Envenom first, causing the dagger's throw to actually inflict poison. But that's not true. I couldn't have done that. All right. So we do have a lot of incoming damage here. Not a huge fan of the incoming damage. But we could probably just Survivor and be fine. We'll get rid of a Defend. Because I don't think we're going to need it. Actually, we can just double Defend anyway. We'll keep working on this dude. Actually, he might be dead. Will that kill him? It's going to take too long to kill him. I'm just going to strike. We'll play the free Defend. It's fine. He's dead. One down. Two to go. Oh boy, these guys are going to be pretty powerful, though. I'm thinking... I wonder what happens if I do Dagger Spray. Does that count as two for Finisher? No, it counts as one. That's unfortunate. But it is fine. We may not be able to defend this turn, which is not super great. Hmm... Maybe it would make more sense to just Deadly Poison and then defend for 8 block. Maybe. Yeah, let's try that. At least it's better than taking 20 damage. I don't think I could have killed one, but maybe I could have. We'll go ahead and neutralize this dude. We'll heal hook him for the draw. There's after image, which, I mean, it's a little late after image. But I think, I think we got this done. Slice him, he's dead. Strike him, he's dead. Yeah, it's over. Good. That wasn't too bad. Could have been worse, that's for sure. Uh, I think Escape Plan is a great card. I mean, at the very least, it's just a card that you can use for free. But if you draw a skill, you know, you get a little bit of armor out of it. Pretty good stuff. And, I mean, it is a free draw card, too, so... Hey, you, what the hell is this? Whenever you climb a floor, gain 12 gold. No longer works when you spend any gold at the shop. What? So... Oh, right! Climbing a floor is just moving to a new area. Like, going to the next place. Oh, okay, I see. Well, that's a, that's a good way of getting a whole lot of gold. As long as you don't go to a shop. And we will definitely be going this way. I still feel my health is a little bit on the low end. There's a lot of fights coming up, too. Yeah, I think we gotta heal again. Because I really don't want to die, and I don't have a ton of block cards either, so... Definitely got to keep that uh, safely done here. We want Apoth for sure. I also want to... And I really want to beat the hell out of this guy, but I really got to kill this guy too. He gets too strong over time, so let's neutralize. Heal hook, because it'll be free. We can escape plan. That gave us some armor, that's good. It's actually really good armor, too. Plus five, that's not bad. Uh, we could after image, but probably not what I'm looking for. We can backstab for some more damage. And then I think we probably just survivor, because it's going to give us the most block. Doesn't matter what we get rid of, because we're done with the turn. That blocks everything. Good. We can Noxious Fumes and Envenom before he even gets his Hex on us. That's great. And I think Dagger Spray works good. Yeah, that's nice. Take a little bit of damage, but not too bad. Four damage isn't the worst. It's not the end of the world, that's for sure. Uh, let's slice you up, because you're dead. Let's strike you and finisher you. And if I deadly poison him, he's going to give me a daze, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because he deserves all the poison in the world. He's such a bastard. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Not a huge fan of that, but Sucker Punch can bring that damage down. Slice is free. 
Oh, I'm weakened. That sucks. <laughs> That's terrible. We got 14. Yeah, let's do it. He is dead. Die, bitch. And we took, what, four damage in that fight? That's not even that bad. Not even that bad at all. Could have been much worse. Uh, yeah. I'll take the free distraction, sure. Oh, I hate this guy. Just take a real quick drink, real quick. And, ooh, we got double slices. I kind of like it, although it's not going to work very well on this dude. Unfortunately. Backstab. He's just going to gain a crap load of armor. Alright. Use that before it doesn't do any damage. And then we're not going to need to heal, so let's go with Sucker Punch. Uh, strike. Oh my god. There we go. That's fine. I think that did pretty well. If worse comes to worse, we can use this Fire Potion and maybe get out of this without uh, taking any damage at all. Maybe. I think I'll use After Image. First. And then we'll use Escape Plan. It did give armor? No, it didn't give armor, because that's not a skill. Right. Distraction. Ooh, Storm of Steel. That's kind of interesting. Free Storm of Steel, huh? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. Because it's only free for this turn. It would give me shivs, and I'm weakened anyway, so... Is it even going to do anything? I don't want to take a shitload of damage, although I think I'm going to have to take a shitload of damage anyway, so we might as well just use it. I don't think that really did much. Go ahead and throw the potion anyway. Looks like maybe I should have thrown the potion first. A pop. Neutralize. Heal hook. Good. Noxious fumes. It's fine. And take a crap load of damage again. This is why I hate this asshole. He's such a piece of shit. Unfortunately, we don't have any way of discarding this, which is rather annoying as hell. Strike. Finisher. <laughs> and that should do it. Man. Ah, if only that asshole wasn't so strong, I'll take another free strike, and it's, or slice, and it's uploaded too. Or upgraded, not uploaded. <laughs> I'm probably going to die here, just so everybody knows. Because I have no freaking health. And no way to weaken this asshole either. Damn. But I do have defense, so... maybe. Let's see, we got backstab. We got a free slice, that's not bad. Free strike. Do I double defend? Nah, we'll just heal hook. I can actually... well... Nah, we'll just defend. It's the same either way. Doesn't really matter. Gonna make a whole lot of monies! Uh, Apoth, yay! Neutralize. Extraction! There's Alchemize, that's interesting. Gave me an explosive potion. Neat. <coughs> I don't know if it's gonna be super useful, but maybe. Alright, Noxious Fumes is great. Uh, it's not possible to play everything. That's too bad. I think I'll do Slice, Dagger Spray, Finisher. Uh, it's not enough, is it? It's not enough. But I won't die. Tell you that, I'm not dying. There you go. You're dying. There you go. Good. Still not dead, even though I am super, super close to it. Let's see, we'll use footwork first, and then escape plan. Damn it, I was really hoping for that armor. 
but I guess that's fine. We got slice, sucker punch, defend. There we go. Man, taking that footwork was a good take. Really wish I had a way of healing. That would be nice. Why can't I have magic like you, you dick bag? Yeah, heal that, bitch. Heal that ever-growing poison. I dare you. She can't do it. Dead. Oh, dead. There we go. <laughs> Steroid potion. Hmm. No. I mean... Uh... Infinite Blades could go well with fin Yeah, I guess I'll take it, just because we have Finisher. And it does mix really well with Finisher. Let's go this way. Oh, boy. This will probably be, probably be the end of the game. In fact, I know it's going to be the end of the game, because we have no block. Great. Thank you, game. Thank you for giving me no block. Great. Well... <laughs> There is something we can do, maybe. Um. Yeah, I think there's one way to live through this. Actually, we might even be able to envenom. Yes, I think envenoming is safe. We can backstab this dude. Then slice him. And let's do distraction real quick. Let's just alchemize again, really. Fucking kidding me. Oh, that regen potion. Pretty nice, though. Then what I'm thinking of is you strike this dude. And you sucker punch this guy so we live. Barely live, but we live. For one turn, at least. Ouch. Dangerous. Apoth. Beautiful. And again. Yet again. No block. Uh, that would be enough, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. If I use Noxious Fumes, I'm just... I'm gonna take damage. I don't want to take damage. That's my hope. So I think I'm just gonna use Dagger Spray. Definitely enough. Good. But now we're hexed, which is less than amazing, of course. Uh, I do have Envenom on, which is something. Survivor gives me 11 block. We'll go ahead and use this. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. And then we will Survivor away at Defend, because I don't need it. And then Slice and Finisher. I don't know. Boy, that regen potion came in at the right time, though. Did it ever. Footwork. Defend. I don't know. I just don't know. We can't do anything with that anyway, so we'll just end turn. A shitload of damage. Ouch. God, how is this guy? Oh, he's so strong because of vulnerable. He vulnerable. Well, we'll weaken him, give him some deadly poison, give him a nice little heal hook, give him a nice strike, and he's dead. Oh my god, perfect death. Uh, accuracy could be pretty good. I guess I'll take it. If I've got that other shift thing, might as well take it. Who am I fighting? Well, this guy? Hmm. This is the one I like the most. I guess I'll go ahead and rest because we're super low on HP. Probably gonna die here, though. Let's see if we can get a nice, good, strong turn. This might actually be the turn to do it. To do the steroid potion. There's gonna be a lot of damage this turn. Let's see what distraction gives us. Blade Dance. Oh, man. Yeah, I think we gotta do it this turn. 
there's going to be a, a lot of damage coming this turn. So first off, let's pop footwork, because I think that's going to be good. We'll backstab, shiv, shiv, slice, because it's free. And we are going to have to defend, unfortunately, so we'll do that and do that. There we go. Really? You're going to attack again? Man, you fucking asshole. Sure. And again, uh, deadly poison. Even though that's not going to do much. God damn it. Why do you have to be such a shithead? Uh, we're, we're, we're fucking dead. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, that kind of worked. Is there any way I can discard this tactician? I would love it. Noxious fumes. Uh, shiv. Sucker punch. Heal hook for free and draw. And, of course, there's no way to get rid of that tactician, which is sad. But we could defend, but there's really no point to it. It's not going to attack. Oh, cool, thanks. There's Apoth. This might not be the time, Apoth. I'm pretty much dead. Well, actually, I can survive for one more turn, so I will Apoth. Neutralize. That's the only way I'm going to survive for one more turn, is neutralize. Shiv. And do I have Envenomon? I do. And I could do Accuracy, but I think I'm just going to do Finisher. Stack the poison. Stack that poison. I'm dead. The only thing I've got is this for block, and, and I'm frail and weak. Like, these bosses are stupid. Absolutely fucking stupid. I mean, I guess I could try an after image and just hope for the best. Hope it's gonna give me enough, but I'm frail, so I mean, that's not gonna happen. Slice. Hey, he's still weak. That's something. I can use heal hook for free and a draw. A lot of damage. But unfortunately, I do have to survive her. And I'm dead anyway, it doesn't matter. There. That's all I could give you piece of shit. Is this my true potential? Probably, honestly. Like I said, these, these developers are fucking assholes, man. This game is so unbalanced. Boy, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Can only be played if there are no cards in your draw pile. Deal 40 damage to all enemies. My god. That is kind of crazy. Place a card from your hand on top of your draw pile. It costs zero until it is played. Now, I could see this being useful. Imagine set up with Apoth. With an unupgraded Apoth. That would be amazing. That, yeah, that, that actually would be decent. I don't know if it would be the greatest thing to do, but I think it would be decent. Ah, oh, fuck you, Silent. My god. That is just... Well, it's good to see that they didn't change the difficulty of the game. It is definitely still fuck all hard like it's not even to the point where it's like legendary difficulty it's just like fuck you difficulty that's what it is that's basically what the game does it just says fuck you that's it and sometimes you can say fuck you to the game sometimes what should i transform i'm gonna transform just a normal strike let's see what we get ready set bam i'm just gonna play the ironclad because he hasn't even gotten past ascension one and he probably never will because good 
God in heaven is this game impossible. It's funny too. I mean, some people, they, they can just beat the hell out of this game. And I just don't understand how they do it. Just like the people who play FTL and just beat the shit out of FTL. I cannot, for the life of me, fathom how they end up doing that. I think we're going to end up starting here. Well, at least things aren't super strong. That's nice. And he does have his uh, healing 6 HP, so we don't have to worry too much about our HP. So we can deal more about uh, attacks. Honestly, I think that if the if the Silent was to have any chance, her Relic needs to be so much fucking better. Her Relic is trash. I mean, you get two extra cards at the start of battle, whoop de fucking do You know what her Relic should do? Is two cards at the start of battle, and you draw one card every turn. One extra card every turn. Then, the Silent would be a little more balanced, but as is, I mean, she's a piece of shit. I don't enjoy her, that's for sure. I enjoy her playstyle, I really do. I think she's interesting and very cool. But, yeah, I mean, this game is just stupid. It's fun, but it's stupid. I mean, you just have to go into this game knowing that you're not going to win. The game is going to eat you and shit you out. It will. Basically all the time, like 90% of the time. But I'll take Flex. Flex is great. God, why don't the other characters get good cards like this? They just don't. Well, who the hell is this? This is new. Lose 66 gold to receive a relic or lose cleave to receive a relic? Well, I don't want to lose cleave, but I don't care about losing 66 gold. Oh, okay. Well, that's fine. Yay, at least we know we won't be getting any more combats. Remove a card from your deck, lose 7 HP. Sure. Sure, I will remove another strike. I mean, I got cleave, so why not? I transformed a strike and removed a strike. I'm okay with that. Do you have anything that I can actually afford? You do have Sword Boomerang or Thunderclap, which is... Yeah, I think I'll take Thunderclap. I can see Thunderclap being good. Thunderclap plus cleave, really good. Yeah, I've got enough HP to try this. Ouch. Whenever you would deal a 4 or less unblocked attack damage, increase it to 5. Nice. Um, yeah. Fuck elites. Elites suck shit. I want upgraded flex. Yes. It's so good. And that's going to be useless, so just skip it. Go to the question marks. Remove a card in your deck, transform a card, or upgrade a card. Huh. I guess I could transform another strike. Seems interesting to me. Yeah, transform a strike. Here we got Bam. Oh, it's Havoc. One of the worst cards in the game, in my opinion. It's just a bad card. It's just a really, really bad card. I'll probably never use it, because it's a horrible card. I don't know if ba Bash is going to be worth it here. Maybe. Bash. And... Cleave. Does more damage. At least they'll stay vulnerable for a while. Ooh, Flex, yeah. See? It says play the top card of your draw pile and exhaust it. I mean, I don't know what the top card of my draw pile is. Obviously, I know it's a defend. But, I mean, I don't want to exhaust the cards. Why the hell would I want to exhaust cards whenever I got the pins? I'm not going to do that. Ah, delicious. Flex. And, well, I don't know what it is now. I guess maybe I'll do it. Thunderclap. Havoc. Oh, good. It was a defend. Fantastic. What a fucking useless card. I really want to get rid of that card. I was really hoping it wouldn't do Havoc, because that is just a stupid card. It's a terrible card. I mean, if it was something like you exhaust a card in your hand to play the card that's on your the top of your deck, that would be great. 
Because then you could exhaust shit cards that you don't want, but it's not like that, because it's shit. It's a shitty card. And I mean, it's it's definitely something that you can say, because they have had shitty cards in this game before, and they've changed them, so hopefully it'll change. I'm hoping so, because I, I fucking hate Havoc. Even if you upgrade it, I mean, it's just it's just a shitty card that you can play for free. No. I don't want to play a shitty card for free. I really wish they would add more vulnerable to this, because it's just not worth it. That's pretty good. I think I'm going to go with the extra shrug it off, though. The extra block is so good. And it just kind of makes that card a no-brainer to play, pretty much. Even though it kind of already is. Okay, that's an interesting one. Receive 175 gold and become cursed with doubt. Um, sure. Yeah, I've got like no gold. Sure, I'll take it. Doubt's not terrible. I mean, it's not great, but it's not terrible. Uh, what do I upgrade? Leave? Leave would do more damage. Although Thunderclap does it to all enemies, too. Eh, we'll just upgrade Cleave. It's just a better version of Thunderclap that doesn't apply vulnerable. It's all good. Oh, this guy again? Really? This is like my favorite boss. He's like the easiest boss to fight. Seriously. Like, never have problems with this boss. Here, take some Fire Potion, too. And you don't have to defend, because he's not going to do anything in the first turn. Oh, shrug it off. And... I could bash him, but I think I'll play it safe and do some defense. Take less damage. Good stuff. We are going to get weakened unless we could... I mean, see, if, if I could play Havoc and, like, play Doubt and Exhaust it, that'd be great. But who knows what's on there? I don't think he has any way of looking at his card. I think there's somebody that does, though. I can't remember who. Do we thunderclap? I'm gonna shrug it off with a card draw. That yeah, wasn't worth it at all. Thunderclap, cleave. It's good stuff. We'll get weakened. It's not the end of the world. Aha! Especially with flex. Nice. Strike. Strike. And defend for a little bit of block. I was going to say to block everything, but apparently it's not going to block everything. That's fine. Uh, cleave. That's good stuff. And we'll just do the defense. And I would have played Havoc, but eh, whatever. I'm just so worried that it's going to play something like Cleave, and then it's going to exhaust Cleave, and I'm just going to be like, Fuck you, Havoc, you piece of fucking shit. It probably would happen. Knowing my luck, it would happen. Bash. Get him vulnerable. Noticing now, getting rid of those strikes was probably not the best idea. Because we have no damage. I thought we had good damage, but I guess not. We are going to take another hit here. It's going to be an unfortunate... Strike. I'm not going to play Havoc if I don't have to. Would you stop strengthening yourself? Really? You're only going to do 24 damage with this? That's odd. I would have thought he's going to do more. Seems like he should do more. Yeah, this isn't going to be pretty. Ow. Ow. But maybe we can still survive. Perhaps. Maybe not. I don't know. Bash. Damn it. Stupid burns. God, we're just gonna have nothing but burns. Seriously. Nothing but burns. Yep, I'm dead. Well, that was unfortunate. But like I said, you know, the game is shit. <laughs> The game either gives you good stuff and you get a chance to win, or it gives you nothing good at all and you lose. Forever. 
Granted, I didn't go into too many fights, but usually question marks are better than fights, but apparently that time it wasn't. At least I made it to the boss, so I still get to choose or get some cool stuff here. I don't know if I want a random common relic or choose a card. I should probably just choose a card. Uh, yeah, starting off Shrug It Off is pretty good. Now let's see if there's maybe a way that I can not get an elite. But basically, I mean, I've tried going for elites because everybody's like, oh, go for the elites. That's the way you win. That's it, it doesn't equal a win. It equals a loss for me. Because the elites are stupid and imbalanced. Super imbalanced. Except for the three gem elite. That's like my favorite elite because you can actually beat it with strategi uh, with strategies. If you don't use strategies, I mean, it will probably kick you in the face or kick you in the teeth. But if you use strategies, you can actually beat that thing. All the other elites, it comes down to just RNG, which I think is bullshit. Yay, look at all the damage. Good stuff. Shrug it off for the draw. And the block. The amazing block, I should say. Bash him for the vulnerable. Good stuff. I kind of wish that bash would become a one-cost card if you upgrade it. That would be nice. That would be super great if that happened, but it doesn't. Go ahead and double defend so we take no damage. He... Oh, he did lose his vulnerable. I thought he was still going to have it. My bad. Uh, it's almost enough. Let's block again. There's going to be a turn where we can just slash us slash and you'll be dead. I think. Hopefully. Keep defending so we don't take too much damage. I can heal up all this damage pretty much. I think a bash strike should kill him. Yep. Dead. Good. And fully healed. Rampage is really good. Yeah, I think I'll take Rampage. Rampage is really good. Get into a shitload of fights here. Uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Can't block all the damage. But we can do... Well, actually we can't. Never mind. I guess we'll do this. That's what I was thinking of. I was like, we can kill the little slime altogether, but not quite. It was close, though. Plug it off for the draw. Strike. Rampage. Oh, of course he weakened us, so that's wonderful. Bash. Shrug it off for the draw again. Yeah, it's fine. Maybe I shouldn't have done the draw there. That probably made very little sense to do. This arm's not bad. I know the shrug it off might be great. Just for that extra defense. It can be so useful sometimes. Uh, let's see here. How do I want to go about this? Hmm. I could pop both their shields. That might be the best way to do it. And then one defend. Could have done a double defend, but I think it's better to just pop both their shields. Rampage is going to do eight damage. That's enough to kill him. And dead. Good. Fear Potion. Hemokinesis is interesting, but I don't think it's the right run for it. I have made it work, though. I have beaten the game with Hemokinesis, so it is possible. Alright, Double Shrug It Off is probably not really necessary, but actually, no, I could use it. Yeah, that could do. And then instead, well, I might use Rampage, actually. Yeah, let's use Rampage. Just to get it being stronger. Might as well. Block everything. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Double defend. Slash. Remember, try and take these guys down one at... Well, not one at a time. You want to take them down together, pretty much. That's what I think you should do. I'm not even going to worry about Bash, because I don't want one really getting vulnerable. I want them to die together so that they don't vulnerable me. 
It's a nasty, nasty thing. Does this apply vulnerable? Yeah, it does. Alright, so they did get a little bit stronger, which is not ideal. We could try that. That's not what I wanted it to do, obviously. But we can go ahead and do that, I suppose. Rampage did get a little bit stronger, but at least we can block mostly this, or most of it this way. Most of the damage. What does it do? Does it apply? Oh, it applies vulnerable for two turns. Man, that's pretty rough. But I think I will just go ahead and strike him. Yeah, we'll do that. There, they're almost dead now. And now they're dead. Yep, dead. And then you get the vulnerable on the last turn, and it doesn't help anybody, so that's good. Iron Wave is pretty okay. I, Pumble's pretty good too, but I think I'm going to go for Iron Wave. Just the attack and the, the block is pretty good. Whereas Pummel, it just exhausts itself anyway. Um, this is going to be interesting. Hmm. That does 8 damage. Hmm. Can defend, I suppose. Because there's going to be a lot of incoming damage. Yep. Do that. No damage. Good stuff. That guy got a little bit stronger, but that's not really a big deal because we can just kill him like that. Oh, shouldn't have done that. Should have done Sword Boomerang. It would have killed him. What was I thinking? He's dead. Hmm. I bet it could be interesting. Now, what to smith? Probably Rampage. Rampage is just too good. And if you smith it, it just doubles. Or, well, actually, it doesn't double in strength. It only doubles in strength once, and then it adds eight per time instead of half the thing. Oh, you can never become frail. That's good stuff. So I wish there was a character that just had immunity to frail and vulnerability. You know, that would be great. And it would still be fucking hard because I mean frail and invulner or frail and vulnerability just makes it fucking impossible pretty much. Oh good. Good. This is gonna be a fun fight. They are just gonna absolutely murder me. Good. Good shit. I guess we'll defend and iron wave somebody that's not gonna get angry. Probably this dude, because he weakens me, I think. And weakening is a little bitch move. Yeah, a little bitch tactic, see? Weaken. Oh, how dare you. How dare you indeed. Take a rampage. And you know what? Headbutt rampage. And I guess I'll defend. I'm gonna take a shitload of damage anyway. Probably actually gonna die here. There's just not enough damage to go around. Although Rampage is getting strong. He's dead. That's good. Actually, I might not die. Cool. I'm worried about these guys though. They get stronger and stronger the more you hit them. Well, let's work on the guy that's lower. Oh crap. I didn't have enough energy to do it twice. Dang it. But if we work on the guy that's lower, we can get him to be killed, hopefully. Let's not worry about Bash, I don't think. Good stuff. I had a feeling that was going to work. <laughs> a little bit tricky. 24, he's dead. Man, Rampage is so good. Especially in a small deck. 
Battle Trance could be interesting. Extra drawing of cards. I mean, drawing of cards is not a bad thing when you have Rampage. I'll tell you that much. Singing Bowl. When adding cards to your deck, you may gain plus two max HP instead. Hmm. Interesting. I might actually take advantage of that. What was this? Liquid Bonds? Yeah. Yeah, let's try it. Ow. Ow. Jeez. Tori's pretty cool. That's a relic I can get behind. That was a lot of damage. Jeez. Not a big fan of that. Oh, boy. All right. Shrug it off. I could bash for the vulnerable, but I don't know. Maybe I'll defend so I take no damage and then just sword boomerang for some pretty good damage. This is when I would want to bash. Let's just shrug it off for the draw. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. Rampage. Headbutt. Take Rampage back again. That's what I was hoping for. Of course, he's going to entangle, which is a bullshit move. But we'll battle trance and double defend. What the hell was that? Oh, yeah, that was uh, getting the no draw. Damn it. You fuck nugget. It's all his fault that I couldn't use my rampage again. I had that set up beautifully, too. You bastard. Well, that's fine. Uh, the vulnerable is not great. Sword boomerang and... Defense? Yeah, it's fine. That'll do. Just don't want to take too much damage. Oh, Rampage Headbutt again. Oh, the combo. Oh, it's dead. Never mind. Combo's so good, though. Blood Potion. Oh, yeah. That's another thing I hate about the, the devs of this game. This Blood Potion is only for the Ironclad. The one class that doesn't fucking need this potion is the one that can use the potion. Nobody else can use it. It's only for the Ironclad. That is just... Oh, my God. God, it's... jeez. Like, I, I, I just... I can't even fathom what the hell these devs are thinking. They're like, oh! Oh, the one class that can heal exponential amounts of, of HP? We'll give him a potion that can heal 10% HP. But should we give it to the other classes, the ones that can't heal? And get raped all the time in the Slep Aspire? No, of course not. Just, just, just let it only be for the Ironclad. Makes perfect, perfect fucking sense. Well, I mean, it does make perfect sense if you're assholes, which they are, but, you know. It's still a good, fun game. It's just frustrating as all fucking hell. Oh, did I block all that? Really? How did I do that? I f didn't feel like I had that much. Oh, yeah, I think I did the... The other thing, that's right. Random attack, that's fine. A dazed, it's not really what I'm looking for, but I guess it'll work. Oh, man. I, can't, I gotta go on the offensive or he's gonna take my money. So I'll just have to take the damage. He's dead. Die. Thank you. I'm not taking my money. Gain five block if this card is is exhausted. Gain two energy. Yeah, I think I'll just take the two max HP. We want to keep our deck small. If you're gonna create or if you're gonna use a good rampage deck, I should have smithed there, but it's fine. Remove a card from your deck. Uh, is there any cards that I really want to remove? It's like I take out one strike. This time we actually have some attacks, so... Removing a strike shouldn't be too bad. Smith up something or another. What does Battle Trance do? You draw four cards. That's pretty nice. Does more damage. More block. That actually might be good. This one's actually really good, too. No, Infernal Blade. Just makes it free. That way you don't have to question and be like, Should I? It's, they're always giving me this hex beast. Oh, it's gonna be different this time, my friend. It's 
See? Much different this time. I should have vulnerable then. I don't know why I didn't. That was stupid. I keep forgetting about my potions, that's why. I'm gonna put on my liquid bronze! You ass wipe. Mm. Hmm. See what else we can get here. We could get five block, but I mean, we might as well do the damage and get the block. No reason not to. It's just the same as the defend and some damage put together. Ow, that was a lot of damage. That was not fun. Did not appreciate that. You bastard. Thank you. If I can get another really good attack turn. Ooh, Rampage, yeah. This is when the vulnerability vulnerability goes on. Rampage. Headbutt. Rampage. Shrug it off! Ah, oh, I can't use it again. That's right. Damn it. Getting too excited. Shrug it off. Battle Trance! Alright, what do I want to do here? He's already vulnerable, so we don't really need to bash. Let's go with... Sword Boomerang. Twin Strike. And yeah, that, that's pretty good. You can't get through my block, that's good. Rampage again for 24 damage. Oh my god, that Rampage is going absolutely insane. There's Headbutt again. Great. Rampage will be here next turn. Oh, I love it. I think you're dead, my friend. I think you might be dead. That is 32 damage. Oh, buddy. Locked. What an asshole. Hold on a second. Oh, man, I can't do anything about that, but I will play Rampage just so it gets stronger. And we'll defend one more time so we take very, very little damage. Might use the Blood Potion. There's no real reason to use it. Like I said, it's just, it's basically overkill. Like, I don't know why they did that. But when I first saw this, I was like, oh, that would be great on other on other players. But yeah, I mean, since it's a good idea on other players, they of course didn't allow it on other players because, you know, they're not in the, uh, not in the idea of making this game balanced at all, but it is still an early access, I think. So, I mean, there is still that. So it is still changing. For sure. But, yeah, I mean, if I had to, like, review it and recommend it, I would say it is fucking impossible of a game. It is really hard. Like, you're almost never gonna win. I'm gonna use Battle Trance just to see if we can get something better, like Twin Strike. Good stuff. I didn't want to use Iron Wave if I didn't have to, although I did forgot about kind of forgot about those burns there. There is nothing in the discard pile. That sucks. I wanted to use Headbutt. But there's Bash and Headbutt for the win. Good stuff. Demon form. Hmm. Astrolabe is interesting. Whenever you lazy HP, draw one card. Eh. Sneko Eye. <sighs> I could do Sneko Eye. It, it's, it's interesting with a demon form. I'm going to try it. What the hell? It's interesting with demon form because sometimes you can get a free demon form and that's just amazing. I mean, sometimes it'll be worth a lot, but, you know, it's already worth a lot, so. I don't think you can really go wrong with trying to pick up Sneko Eye when you have demon form. Unless it, it fucks you over, which it can. I mean, it is, it is Sneko Eye. And Sneko Eye does do bad, bad things. I think I want to take this left route. Looks pretty good right here. Alright, what have we got? Yeah, see, it can do some pretty shitty stuff. But Battle Trance is relatively cheap. There's a free strike and a free defend. And, I mean, I guess I could shrug it off, but there's probably no reason to. Well, 
I don't want to take any damage, I suppose I'll shrug it off. And then strike. But Infernal Blade is way too expensive, so no thank you. No thank you, sir. Ah, look at all the free cards. Free shrug it off. Free demon form. And that's why you take Sneko Eye. Sometimes it can really work out well. Sometimes it's really shitty. You just never know. Uh, we will Rampage, even though it is uh, expensive, because the headbutt's free, so we can get Rampage back again. A free defend, because why not? I mean, it's free. Get the demon form going! Oh, Rampage is the same amount. Interesting. He has hexed us. Well, I'm not interested in defending anyway. Uh, everything here is pretty expensive, so I think I'm just going to Rampage. And uh, we'll call that a turn. We're getting stronger. Look at all the free cards! Shrug it off. All free Infernal Blade. Love it. All free Heavy Blade. Boom! Baby. Uh, free Headbutt. I think it was free. Pretty sure it was free. And I will probably take Rampage again, because it's probably going to be the strongest. And I will do this free defend, even though it will give us a daze. It's unfortunate, but it has to happen, I think. And we'll do one more defend for another daze, but yeah. Let's just not take so much damage. <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. A free strike. Take it. And dead. 22 damage with weakness. Wow. That is just something else. I'll take Metallicize, because block is good. We don't want to have our deck be too big, that's for sure. Look at all these free cards. Oh, it's so good. Sword Boomerang first. Ah, damn it, I was hoping I could do more than that. Well, we can bash. No reason not to do that, because it is cheap. I could Infernal Blade, but I think I'm just going to Rampage. Unfortunately, we are going to take a little bit of damage here. Oh, not bad, though. Just one damage, thanks to Tori. Tori is an amazing item, by the way. If I haven't said that before. Uh, well, we're not definitely not using Battle Trance, I'll tell you that much. Are you in there? You are. Rampage is in there, and I do have a way of drawing it, too. So I'm going to headbutt, take Rampage... And I'm going to hope and pray that it's not going to be expensive. And it's expensive. But can't afford it. If I want to. Strike is free. I mean, I'm going to take some damage, but yeah, I'll play Rampage. Why not? There's no reason not to. We'll take a little bit of damage, but again, Tori came through. Tori is such a good relic. Well, we're not going to be playing demon form this time, but something tells me we don't want to actually need it this time. Uh, boy, it looks like it's just going to be a defending burn this time. That's all right. That's good. You can't win them all. It's all good. Hey, there's Bash. I like it. I yeah, I like it. Bash for the vulnerable. Strike to break his armor, and Rampage to absolutely decimate him for a massive 24 damage. Absolutely de devastating. Ooh, the flame's not bad. As long as we can keep pumping up the strength, that's not too bad. Oh, not this one. How much HP do I have? I got quite a bit of HP. I have a lot of gold. I'll get one colorless card, I think. And then leave. What colorless card did I get? I got Discovery. This is new. Choose one of three random cards to add to your hand. It costs zero this turn. Interesting. So it's just like those potions in a way. Except for these are random cards it just says. It doesn't say colorless cards. Just random cards. I would imagine it won't pull from other characters' pools though. Although, if it could, that would be kind of interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We... Alright. We can gain 100 gold, or 
Become cursed with regret and gain 275. Well, I got plenty of gold, so I'll just pray. Gain 100 gold, that's fine. Not a problem. And we got this malleable little shithead. I hate this douche nozzle. But we can bash him for free. Free defend. A cheap infernal blade, which is tempting. I think I'll use it. Free twin strike. Very nice. I think I'll use the metallicize. And sure, we'll go with one more defend. Make it so that we pretty much take no damage. Ah, uh, close enough. Really close to taking no damage. I think we only ended up taking one damage. Wait. No, he did 21 damage, I had 22 lock. Okay, no damage. There's a free strike. But I think we'll hit with Rampage first. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, Inflame is a little too expensive. I can justify using Battle Trance for one... Oh, wow, look at that. I drew all cheap stuff. Oh, I love it. I love it. And by cheap, I mean free, of course. Bam! Bam. And I'll do the Headbutt. Rampage going. And... Dad, dad, I don't want to shrug it off, but I have to. Oh, yeah, it won't draw the card. Perfect. Good. I just wanted to shrug it off so I wouldn't take so much damage. And there's Discovery. And it's free. What have we got here? Corruption? Oh! No way that is his. Never mind. I thought Corruption was hers. Immolate's pretty okay. Yeah, I'll take Immolate. Sure. Corruption's another trash card. I hate that card. Immolate does a crap load of damage. In fact, I think he's dead right here. Yep, dead. I tell ya, Sneko Eye can sometimes be a godsend. Sometimes. I'll take Armaments Plus, why not? <laughs> that is a great card. Don't even have to upgrade it, it's already upgraded. That is so good. Upgraded demon form. Wait a minute. I'm curious, what does this upgrade do? What does it do? What? Oh, it doesn't exhaust! Oh, are you kidding me? Wow, that is pretty freaking powerful, I gotta say. I kind of like that card. That is a new card. That's one that I've never seen. So that's definitely new. Ah, uh, we got a free bash. That is amazing. I mean, there is a somewhat inexpensive in flame here, but I don't know if I want to use that. Yeah, I think I'll bash first, because it's free, and then shrug it off. See, eh, there's a free card. That's good stuff. I like that. I like free cards. It's good. Let's go ahead. Let's see. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We don't even need defense, so let's inflame. Let's do it. Let's get beefy. Beefcake! Beefcake! Yeah, I have a horrible cart in intimidate. Uh, not intimidation. Imitation. There we go. Let's see here. Human form. Oh man, this is going to be rough. That is a lot of the incoming damage. We could try and draw three cards in the hopes of drawing some defense. Sure. Yeah, like a free shrug it off. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, indeed. And I can use Iron Wave and Defend, and that will pretty much help a lot. Yeah, that, that helps out a lot. That's going to block a lot of damage. It's not going to block everything, but it's going to block a lot. Oh, nice. Tori popped off again. Man, Tori is so good. Oh, look at this. Armaments Plus, baby! Boom! Amazing. That's free. This is free. I'll use that. That's free. Uh, where do we got? Some cheap stuff. We got Discovery here, which is interesting, but I don't know if I want to use just that. They're not attacking, so maybe this would be a good time to strike. I think I will use Discovery here. 
Just feed. Guess I'll try it. Feed. I don't think it's gonna be useful. But, I don't know, maybe if we can get it at the right time, we can get a little bit of max HP. I don't think Discovery lets you keep the cards. I'm pretty sure they go away after the battle. Ooh, look, a free bash. That's nice. Free bashes are always cool. Now, I don't like what's happening here, though. 24 damage. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Hmm... Alright, we'll try it. And then, how much would this do? 21 damage. It's almost enough. Oh, it's so close. Man, it's so close. I think I'll just do it. We've got the potion if we need it. We'll take 10 damage. Oh, you didn't heal him? Oh, I thought you were going to heal him. He's dead. He's super dead. Bash, death, armaments plus, and shit, I guess I'll shrug it off. Damn it, I was hoping it was going to draw zero, but it didn't. That's fine. That is the wonders of playing with Snekoi. You just never know what it's going to give you. Ouch! Oh, <laughs> demon form, man. Demon form, wreck stuff. I think I'll take another sword boomerang. With strength, sword boomerang is incredibly powerful. Should I upgrade something? I could upgrade discovery. I could upgrade in flame, but I don't really think it's that worth it. Upgrading sword boomerang is a decent upgrade, though. I think I'll take it. Because we've already got the upgraded uh, armaments, so or armaments plus, so that's fine. Kremlin horn! Oh my god! See, like I said, oh, oh, Sneko. I'm sorry, dude. Your trick is just not even going to phase me. Discovery. What do I want? Searing blow is not bad. Let's take searing blow. And it's very sweet. Battle Trance! Hmm. Well, these are all pretty expensive, so let's just use that, shall we? We'll upgrade everything. And wow, perplexing, perplexing glare. Oh my goodness. Didn't see that coming. Whatever shall I do? That's a lot of damage, though, actually. So, I think I'm going to shrug it off. Ooh. Do I metallicize or do I bash? I think I metallicize just for extra defense. We could even... Well, it would have been made more sense to do this before, but that's fine. Take one damage, thanks to Tori. Free Infernal Blade, good stuff. Free Sword Boomerang. Free Strike. Uh, we got a cheap Strike here and a cheap Defend Plus. What does that do? Yeah, we'll do the Defend Plus for sure in the Cheap Strike. Yeah, it's good stuff. Demon Form, it's not your turn yet. Not your time to shine yet. But it will be. Someday it will be. Don't you worry. Well, we've got free Defense here. Why not use them? Free Sword Boomerang. Good stuff. Uh, Shrug it off is pretty cheap, so I can use that. There's some flame. That's quite nice. I guess I should have used Shrug it off first. But you never know. Iron Wave. Very nice. And no damage. Like, this is a pretty relaxed, chill run, I gotta say. I feel pretty chill. Pretty chill indeed. Although, I'm not really liking this too much. Let's see, strike. Uh, should I battle trance? I think I'm gonna armaments plus and then battle trance. So it's an upgraded battle trance. Yeah, that might have been worth it. Hard to say. It's gonna be a lot of damage. But at least the vulnerability is finally gone. <clears throat> 
I wish there was a way of like curing invul our vulnerability, but there isn't. Like that's the thing that this game is missing. When you think about RPGs and stuff, you think about getting debuffs on yourself, and then you think about, oh, well, I have a character that can that can fix that debuff. Sure, it's going to take a turn or whatnot, but in this game, you're just like, oh shit. Well, I mean, I got a debuff. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Die? I guess so. Because there's nothing you can do. The game just doesn't give you very much, um, very many ways of dealing with stuff. I think I am going to use Armaments Plus here, and we're going to use Iron Wave, so that we can get a, a bigger block. Yeah, that worked out pretty well. And again, vulnerable, you fucking asshole. But here's Rampage, and Headbutt. And... Why was I not able to take... Rampage back. Oh, oh, it did, did it automatically, right. Oh, if I shrug it off and the Rampage is free... Nah, just kill him. Who cares? Ooh, there's an upgraded Iron Wave. That's some good shit. I'll take it. I mean, it's upgraded, so why not? We've already got the Headbutt, so we don't really have to worry too much about our deck being too big. Sword Boomerang. I didn't want it to hit just him. That's stupid. But I guess it's fine. Um, we are going to take some damage here. Well, maybe not. I think I'll drink this. And then Iron Wave him. Nah, eh, we're still going to take some damage. Damn it. Kind of hoping we wouldn't, but yeah, we're still taking damage. I couldn't block at all. Not for not trying, though. Bash. Uh, Discovery is a little too expensive here. Probably not going to happen. Free defend. Nice. Yeah, let's go with Inflame. Good stuff. Get rid of all these things first, you know? Oh, we've already got Demon Form. They are so boned. There's Rampage. Rampage does 13 damage. Let's do Sword Boomerang first. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. And we get a little bit of energy, so we can do Rampage, Headbutt, Take Back Rampage. Uh, we could shrug it off, but I think I'm just going to do Armaments Plus. Fuck it. Let's do that. There's Rampage again, and it only costs one. It's not terrible. Battle Trance! Armaments Plus is free? What? There we go, that's awesome. Or we could... well, I'll shrug it off, it's not going to do anything. Although it would give us block, which we do need. How much damage will Rampage do? 18 damage. Huh. Decent. There's Metallicize. So I'm thinking we shrug it off. It's not going to give us a draw, unfortunately. We metallicize. It's going to give us dazes. Unfortunately, it's true. But Rampage. That should be enough. Yeah, it's enough block. Good. Good stuff. And we're just going to keep str getting stronger and stronger. See, that's the thing, too. Like, the other characters, they don't have anything like this where it just gets stronger every turn. Which is another thing that's amazing about the Ironclad. Hmm. I guess we'll use this free defend. There's no reason not to. Except for the days. True. Well, that's fine, I think. I could Iron Wave. Not upgraded, though. Sword Boomerang might actually kill him. No, it would come close, though. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... Yeah, I think I'm going to Iron Wave for now. We'll do that for now. Good stuff. Oh look, a free strike. How lovely. And a cheap strike. How lovely. And a Strength Potion. Nice. Bloodletting gives you energy. Mm. Uh. I think I might grab one True Grit, because this can be useful. 
it honestly can be very, very useful if you get it upgraded anyway. And there is the possibility that it could be upgraded for us. Let's do Inflame because it's free. There's no reason not to. Shrug it off for the draw. Ooh, I'm not a big fan of what I'm seeing here. How much damage here? Nine. And these are just eight? So it is straight up better damage. So sure, we'll use it on this dude. He's going to give us dazes anyway, so I'd rather not get the dazes. That would be nice. You know, I didn't want to waste all the block there, but I guess we didn't have much of a choice. Sword Boomerang! Alright. Wasn't super great. Infernal Blade. Ooh, Uppercut. Applies a weak and a vulnerable. Hmm. I should probably put it on this dude. Yep. Gets rid of two of his artifacts. Alright. That's what I was hoping for. Um... I think we're probably just going to Iron Wave and defend. That way, at least blocking his attack. Alright. Took a little bit of damage, but not too much. Rampage is free. That is delicious. Get that going. There's also Armaments, but it's incredibly expensive, so I'm probably not going to be using it right now. Not at this time. Eight. And that should finish him off. Let's try Discovery. Blood for Blood is incredibly powerful, so I'll take that. Although we are going to take a crap load of damage here, but I guess that's what's going to happen. Yep, pretty much. I mean, I could have bashed, but I guess it wouldn't really have made much of a difference. See, here we go. Here's what True Grit... Oh, it's it's a random card, though. See, when you upgrade it, you get to pick what card you exhaust. I want to exhaust that Daze. That would be nice. But there's no way of knowing if it is actually going to exhaust that Daze, so let's not worry about it. So the trick is, do we Rampage, or do we Battle Trance in the hopes of getting zeros that we can use? I think we Battle Trance in hopes of getting zeros, and we didn't get any. Damn it. Well, that's terrible. Like I said, sometimes Snekwai works, and sometimes it don't. Hmm. I could shrug it off. I think I will shrug it off. It's going to be our most armor that we can possibly get. Strike. We do have the health potion just in case we need it, which we might. Ouch. Buck nugget. Hate you, you dumbass bastard. Such a piece of shit. Sword boomerang there. Okay, that almost got his uh, shield down. Do we have Headbutt in here? We... or Rampage. Yes, we do. So, playing Headbutt might not be a bad idea. Then again, I think I'll just play Shrug It Off. Take no damage. It's a good thing. Strike. Broke the shield. But of course, he just gets more because he's a stupid cheater. Demon Blood! Or Demon Form, I mean. Armaments. Free uppercut, nice. So that is going to give him vulnerable, at least. That's good. We got a free rampage, and he's dead. Good. Hmm. Maybe go with ghostly armor? Although ghostly armor could be a terrible pick here. Hmm, I don't know if I want to smith. We'll probably rest. We're getting low on HP. And we are coming up on that same boss again. I bet we'll probably beat it as the Ironclad, though, because, I mean, he's just a better character. He's just a better balanced character, but he's still shit, you know. Uh, yeah, let's do this and that. Demon form right off the bat? Yeah. Yes, please. 
The Sneko basically just gives us one free turn because he just confuses us, which is pointless on his part because I'm already confused, Sneko. You don't know it, but it's true. Do I do discovery? That is the question. Or do I do battle trance? I think I'll do battle trance. That was not the right move, apparently. Discard any number of cards and draw that many. Let's try that. We're going to discard all of our cards because we can't play them anyway. And draw all the cards. Oh, we can't. That's right. God damn it. Stupid battle trance piece of shit. Oh, yay. Ghostly armor's free. Hooray. At least it doesn't have to disappear into the aether. That's good. We'll defend and then sword boomerang. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's like no damage, which is good. Just gonna get ever stronger. Uh, Discovery's cheap, so I'll go ahead and do that. Ooh, free carnage. That sounds awesome. Although there is limit break, too. Doubling? Yeah, doubling my strength is just too good. Even if it does exhaust 18 strength, that is so powerful. Then again, I could have inflamed it and done even better, but eh, whatever. I don't do things in the right order. Not at all. Boom! Tons of damage. Take a bit of damage ourselves. Iron Wave for massive amounts of damage. Uh, this headbutt's actually going to kill him. Look at that. Wow. Crazy. The damage is just insane. Hmm? This is new. Huh. So you have to gain three vulnerable but you gain one energy at the start of each turn. So this is new. This used to be um, when you were under 50% HP, you would get one energy per turn. Is it worth it for the three vulnerable, though? It probably is, honestly, for the energy. Yeah, I think I'll take that. Seems like a better card than it was before, that's for sure. Because that card was shit before. Because you never wanted to be below 50% energy, or... 50% HP. Sometimes it happens, sure, but you never really wanted it to happen, so you always tried to not be in the 50% range. So yeah, uh, let me look here real quick. We got a free defend, might as well use it. Ooh, Rampage is so expensive, but it could be worth it. Yeah, we might as well just start getting that, being super strong. We'll do it. All right, what do we got? Ghostly armor is free. Awesome. Sneko, please keep giving it. Please keep making it free. Please. Battle trance. It's free. Now remember, I cannot draw more cards. Okay, I need to not forget that. Always freaking forget that. Armaments gives me five block. Yeah, you know what? I'll do it. It's not going to be full block, but that is going to upgrade a good hand of cards there. Oh, shit. Demon form. Why demon form? Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. Even though it's expensive, he's not attacking this turn, so it's all good. Iron Wave. Strike. Good. All right, we got the demon form off. Oh, it's, it's coming. It is coming, baby. Oh, wait a minute. No. Damn it. There's armor and it's plus again. Yes, and it's free. Awesome. Oh, headbutt. Shrug it off. Damn it, that's not what I wanted. So apparently when this is upgraded, you gain two vulnerable instead of three. Okay, I kind of like that. I... Yeah, yeah, I can see that being useful. I guess I'll take Shrug it off, I suppose. 
I don't think I'll need Armaments Plus, and most of my cards are already upgraded. Uh-oh. What the fuck? What is that? Berserk. Oh, cool. Hey, ghostly armor. You're cheap. I'll take you. Free shrug it off. Can't say no to that. Uh, metallicize. Awesome. Very cheap bash. I'll take that. And I don't need a defend, so I'll just strike. Awesome. Yeah, it's working out so far. So far, so good. Ah, oh, Jesus. That's a lot of incoming damage. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it, mommy. Don't, don't let it hit me, please. Don't, don't let the big monster hit me with that much damage. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. There's gotta be something we can do here. Let me think. Rampage is good, but it's not gonna be block. Okay. I need block like now. And I don't want that 4 block, and I can't use this Iron Wave, because it's way too expensive. But, I mean, i got to use Rampage because it's free, so, yeah. What do I do now? Do I Battle Transit and just hope for the best? Probably. Oh, yes. Pretty lucky. Please shrug it off. I know I can't draw, but who cares? It's for the defense. Do I Discovery? Or Iron Wave? I think I Iron Wave, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think that's gonna help my blockage. A little bit. Yeah, 19. That's not bad. 11 damage. Not the end of the world. Oh, my own vulnerable. It's wrecking me. I feel wrecked. Defend. Uh, I don't need armaments plus that much, really. Iron Wave could be useful. Ah, oh, Shrug It Off is so expensive. But I might play it. I might do it. I think I'm gonna do it. It's so expensive. Oh, free Shrug It Off. Yes! And then Iron Wave to top it off. Oh, yes! And a Headbutt, which I don't really want to use, but I guess I'll take it. Take that upgraded Shrug It Off. Yeah! kind of wanted to use it on Rampage, but it wasn't in my discard pile. Ah, ghostly armor, why do you have to be so expensive? But I have to use it, or it will disappear. Use it. It's worth it, probably. Bash! Oh god, the sword boomerang! Oh my god, look at the damage! Oh my lord, it's gonna do, like, 84 damage, I think. Holy shit, do it. 124 damage! That was more than I thought. Oh, it's because of vulnerability, right? Damn! <laughs> that has gotta hurt. I might have wanted to do the strength potion, but eh, I don't think it matters. I got 18 strength. I'm good. I don't need to defend, so I guess I won't. Ha ha ha! Yeah, that's right. You're not even gonna get to do your buff. You know that? Um, Strike will take out your um, armor, and then Rampage will deal 50 damage. Yeah, that's good. That's good stuff. And then another Strike. You're almost dead. I should have popped the potion. You've done it now. Oh, really? Are you going to kill me? You've only got, like, no HP. There's no way you're killing me. I could probably kill you with this single Strike. Oh, so close! That's alright, you're dead. Ha ha ha! Awesome. Um. Mm, bludgeon, yeah, bludgeon's good. We could get some free bludgeons, why not? No. Obtain three curses and three relics. Uh. Yeah, sure. Go for it. Those aren't terrible curses. I can deal with it. Ancient tea set. Very nice. Dark stone periapt. Look at that. Oh, wait. I don't even think that's going to count, does it? No. Ginger. You can no longer be weakened. Awesome. Oh, if I can no longer be weakened, well, that means this game is in for a world of hurt. 
Because now they can't stop my demon form. Nobody can stop me now. Ah, crap. Looks like I'm gonna have to fight an elite here. Just one? Yeah, it looks like probably just one. Maybe. Give me a second here. Okay. Now the trick is, where do I want to go? Okay, that's two elites. I really just want to fight only one, because these are nasty fucking elites. Really nasty. Okay, I think I see... Yeah, I see it. Let's start... Hmm. Where should we start? Probably here? Right? Well, we could go that way, too. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go this way. This will be better. What the hell is this thing? What are you? Rectomancer? Do you have a dagger? Well, I got free demon form, bitch! And free bludgeon. Free bludgeon. Oh my god, please. Sword boomerang. Be good. That was not super great. But I could use the... No, well, I guess not. Yeah, I guess I'll do that. And then the bludgeon on you, because that's going to do a massive amount of damage. Good stuff. Take a little bit of damage, not too bad. I don't really know how this uh, character works. Apparently she works exactly like the stupid other guy. Whatever. Die, bitch. Armaments for free. Armaments plus for free. Good. Oh, ghostly armor. I don't want you to go away. Please. Stay with me. In flame for free. Uh, what's in here? Anything worth taking? Uh, apparently they can wound. Yuck. Sword boomerang. Oh, uh, well, blood. there's no, there's no telling bludgeon's gonna be free though. Hmm. Fifteen damage. I don't know, that's a lot of damage. Let's just do that. It's gonna do 11 damage to everything. 18 damage. Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. I think that'll do. And yeah, see, apparently they just explode. After a while, so she's basically just exactly the same as the other one. Hello, Sung! <laughs> she's basically exactly the same as the other summoner thing. They are running out of ideas for enemies, I gotta say, if they're using the exact same ideas like this. Kind of ridiculous. Oh no, we got all of the bad stuff in one turn. That's not good. There's Berserk. I don't want Berserk right now, I'll tell you that much. That free strike is looking pretty nice, though. I think I'll use that. And should we battle trance? Yes, we should. There's a free iron wave. Beautiful. There's discovery. And I guess I'll take... Drop kick? I guess. Hey, it's free. Yay. Uh-oh. She's going to do crap loads of damage. Oh wait, I've still got a lot of stuff. Good. Double defend. Good stuff. Ouch. Oh, I got a rampage with your name on it! Wait. Not yet. Shrug it off for free. Defend for free. Because it's free. Strike for free. Because it's free. Ha ha ha! So much free stuff! Oh, crap. But I can only Rampage now, but I'm going to do it because it's really powerful. And it's only going to get more powerful because Rampage is awesome. Are you just going to keep summoning minions? Really? Really? You are so stupid and so dead. If she wasn't going to die there, I was going to drop kick her because it would be free. <laughs> Snickoi, sometimes I swear to God I love you so much, Snickoi. I swear it to the heavens that sometimes you are one of the best relics in this game. Not always, 
but sometimes. And it's really helping my run here. Oh, look, free demon form! <laughs> I love it so much. I'll take that ghostly armor because I don't want it to disintegrate. I hate you guys for trying to attack me. Seven. A lot of damage. Uh, battle trance, I think. Not what I wanted to see, that's for sure. I mean, I could rampage or I could defend. I think... I think I'll defend. What? Yeah, dropkick. Uh, dropkick is a card that if you use it when they're vulnerable, it basically gives you your energy back. And I think it lets you draw a card, or maybe they, maybe I'm thinking of the other one. Not 100% sure. This is not looking super great, and I hate the fact that I drew a normal, normal energy cost bludgeon. That sucks. Oh no, Snekoi, you haven't even really done that much. This is not a good round for you, Snekoi, but I will bash this dude. And strike him because it's free, and... Yeah, I think I should be okay to not even defend. I think I'll just strike him. Get him out of here. No more dazes. Ooh, discovery. I could... Yeah, there's the potential to get limit break. I don't want to use it now, but I'll get it. <laughs> limit break is so freaking good. Especially if I can get that thing upgraded. Hey, where are these dazes coming from? Not a big fan of that. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, you thought I didn't see you, didn't you? No, you don't, buddy. You are not. Oh, no, I don't want to use Sword Boomerang. That would be terrible. Oh, no, I might have to. <laughs> I don't want to use Sword Boomerang. But I guess I might have to. I guess I'm going to have to. Ow! Ow. Painful. But it killed him. That's fine. Shrug it off is free. Good stuff. Strike is free, but I don't want to take the spike damage. Wait, how much is it going to do? 12? 15? Uh, I can't do it. I don't even think I can play Berserk. There's just there's not enough defense right now. Nah. We'll, we'll hang on to it for now. There we go. There's some defense. Infernal Blade for free. Oh, uh, Bludgeon for free. Can I get some armor? Is there a way to get armor? Iron Wave? That's not going to give me armor. I mean, it would, but it's not going to give me enough. Legend will do 41, so it will kill him. But I don't want to take that spikes damage if I don't have to. Legend is free, so I'll just war cry. Choose a card to put on top of your pile. Shoot! I didn't get a single armor one. Eh, whatever. Legend. I'll take the 5 damage, whatever. It's all good. Ooh, spot weakness is interesting. A twin strike... Yeah, twin strike plus is just too good. I can't pass up on that. Now, I don't want to go this way. Wait, do I want to go that way? Oh, actually, yeah. Yeah, we can totally go this way. Ooh, upgrade a card. Yes, please. What should I upgrade? I honestly think I just want to upgrade True Grit. Because True Grit is only good if it's plussed. Other than that, it just randomly exhausts a card, and you don't want to randomly exhaust cards. Ooh, blind. Interesting. Another Inflame would be just stupid, probably. While your HP is at or below, you have additional 3 strength. Eh. It's probably not really necessary. Whenever you exhaust a card, nah. Whenever you break an enemy's block, apply too vulnerable. Meh. Probably not that useful. But this could be great, especially if I could get this upgraded. Blind upgraded is so good. I'm taking it. Other than that, I don't think I want anything else. Uh, what is this? Smoke bomb? Get out of here. Smoke bomb is useless. It's like a block potion. Why not? And I guess the Red Skull's not terrible. The rest of these suck. I mean, I could go for another Inflame, but I've already got one. Oh, Pummel. Looks like Pummel, sure. And Master of Strategy's fine. 
Some nice draw is really good, especially when you have Snake Eye. Whoa, what is up with my mouse? <laughs> oh, that's what's up with it. Give me a second here. I think I ended up getting... Yeah, I got some hairs in my mouse. That's not great. It's one bad thing about optical mice. <laughs> when you get hairs in the optics, it just likes to be stupid. Now, I don't want to go that way, right? Yeah, if I go that way, I'm fighting way more elites. So we're going to go this way. Even though I like question marks. Oh, Jesus, what the hell is this thing? Spire growth. What, what hell do you plan on inflicting on me, my friend? Oh, writhe. Oh, it's bad turn to be writhe. See you, writhe. Get out of here. Again. That's why True Grid is pretty okay if it's upgraded. I think I'll take Inflame. Why not? I don't know what this guy does. What are you going to do? Are you going to strangle me? What an asshole. I hate Constricted. That's a terrible thing. Oh no, I have to spend the money. I have to spend the energy on Ghostly Armor. It's going to be gone. There's Master of Strategy for free. Hmm. But it does exhaust itself, which is not... Great. I guess I'll use it. Ooh, free metallicize. I like it. Free strike, free twin strike, free strike. And unfortunately, I'm going to take a shitload of damage. Great. Oh well. What can you do? Man, this guy is strong. I wonder if this is the other thing. Because there was another thing that did this spire thing. Maybe they just decided to change the way they look. That could be it. Because they seem to be the exact same thing. Oh man, demon form. Demon form! Not time for your bullshit. Can't, I, I don't, I just don't have it in me to deal with your bullshit, demon form. Not the time. Definitely not the time for clash. Because I can't even play it. But I could defend... Yeah, I guess that's all I can do. Sure. At least it's something. At least it means I won't take a shitload of damage. Ow. Nine damage. That's still a lot. Ow. Oh, these expensive cards. It's not great. What did battle transfer free? Damn it. It's still, everything is so expensive. It's not great. Not great at all. Though so Armaments Plus would be nice. But I really... Yeah, I think I'll do Armaments Plus and then drink my Block Potion. Yeah, that's pretty alright. 11 damage. Not too bad. There you go, Demon Form. That's much better. A free Demon Form? I'll take it. Discovery, what do you want to give me? Well, he's not vulnerable. I have no way of making him vulnerable, so Drop Kick is probably pointless. Immolate is great. Immolate for free? Yeah. A two bludgeon is not bad either, but then I have no block. So I can either get seven block or bludgeon for a massive 34 damage. Not bludgeon. Oh, I could have rampaged too, but whatever. Oh yeah, I forgot about constrict. Oh, I'm, I'm so dead. I'm so utterly dead. This Constrict is so stupid. It's just... It's just 10 damage that you can't block. I mean, I guess you can block it. If you can manage to get 26 block in a turn. Which is not... It's not happening. Can I kill him? Do I have enough strength to kill him? I might. No, I don't think so. Although... No, that's the start of every turn. That's not going to work on this turn. I guess I could bash Sword Boomerang, but you know, that's pretty much it. Or Sword Boomerang Pummel. Well, Pummel's going to do 50 damage. That's a lot of damage. And this one does 44 damage. If only I had a vulnerability. I mean, I guess I can chug my Strength Potion. And just hope for the best that this is enough damage. I think it is, actually. Oh yeah, it definitely is. Dead. Good. Good, because that was horrible. 
Uh, I don't want anger. I don't really want thunderclap plus. I could take another sword boomerang, I suppose. Pretty good. We have no HP, so we're dead. We're 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 totally dead here. Guarantee 100%. Because this game is an asshole. Yep, we're dead. But we can try. How much does that do? 21? That's it. Flame. Well, it was a good run. It was a good run until, you know, shit happened. Because that's what happens. Shit always happens. I can at least drink that. I don't think it's gonna do anything. Yep. Did. Oh, I didn't die. How shocking. What do we got for discovery? Redeem it for him. Take it. Uh, shit. It doesn't matter. I'm dead. I can defend. Please, no touching. No touching. I'm dead. God, I hate how hard this game is. I swear to God, this must be the hardest roguelike in existence. I know everybody said that Sword of the Stars of the Pit is the hardest, but I mean, I can actually, like, I'm actually making it in there. This has no easy mode. I mean, granted, I'm playing it on Ascension now, which, I mean, it's because it's all I have left. I've already done everything else. I can't even climb on Ascension because it's too stupidly hard. It's like, even without Ascension on, this game is impossibly hard. Just absolutely impossibly hard. But, maybe I'll play one as the defect. Got a little bit more time for some uh, stream here, and he hasn't beaten Ascension 1 either, so let's just go ahead. I haven't played the defect in forever. Maybe he's changed. Who knows? We can choose a card, we can do this. It's all the same. Lose all gold and choose a rare card to obtain? Sure. Sure, that sounds awesome. Oh. My God. It's Buffer! <laughs> Buffer is so good. Buffer is probably one of the best cards in this game. Now, let's see if there's any way that I cannot hit an elite. Maybe... No, I think I'll hit one. Maybe. Now, there's a way to snake around all the elites. Okay, I'll probably do that. Because the elites basically just... They equal death to me. They equal end of run, pretty much, usually. Unless I have to hit one. If I have to hit one, then that's fine. Uh, I don't need defense. Probably don't even need buffer for this fight, honestly. We'll go ahead and do zap. And we'll strike this guy, because he's got a nice, massive shield. Boom! Beautiful. He's an interesting character. Um, I like him a lot. I do. I think... Deal 8 damage. Let's do it. That's not exactly what I was hoping for, but hey, it works. Dead. <laughs> Alright, what do we got here? Sweeping Beam is nifty. I'll take it. An AoE at least, and it lets you draw, so that's good stuff. Always good stuff. Definitely gonna go for the zap. Probably gonna go for the dual cast. Yeah, let's do it. Yes! <laughs> Absolutely wonderful. Wait, this is this one? Yeah, this one only does three damage to a random enemy. Uh, why'd you have to frail me, you dipshit? Uh, see nine. Yeah, we'll just triple defend. Let's not waste the buff or the buffer. Well, I guess it wouldn't be a waste though. Eh, let's just do that. More defense. Don't even need it. And he's probably dead. He's dead. I can actually just end the turn. He's dead. <laughs> Good job, Zap Orb. I love you, Zap Orbs. 
Let's see, whenever you take attack damage, channel one lightning, channel one plasma. Ooh, yes, let's take the fusion. Fusion is good. Very, very good. Yeah, let's try it. Ow. What is that? Oh, yeah, a question card. Right. That could be good. And, of course, I have no money, but maybe there's something cheap. Eh, nope, 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 nothing cheap enough. That's too bad. It's too bad you can't sell stuff to the store. Like, that would make sense. Like, if you have a whole bunch of cards that you don't want, you can just, like, sell a whole bunch of cards and actually get money and then buy something. That would be great, you know, but... I don't imagine these uh, developers are going to put that in here because they are assholes, as I've said before. <laughs> the game is fun, but this game will just kick you in the dick. That's all it's going to do. Even if you're a girl, it'll kick you in the dick. Even if you don't have one, it's still going to kick you there. Trust me. I've played it enough to know. Oh, come on. It's so close. Ah, oh, so close. That's all right. He's dead. Bye bye. Beam cells, pretty okay. I don't like genetic algorithm. I think it's a horrible card. Beam cells, pretty good though. At least we can get a little bit of vulnerable going, even though it's not going to be that useful. Ooh, fusion is interesting. I could just sweeping beam give a. Uh, Take out all of their... Yeah, I'm going to do that. Up all their armors. Perfect. And then double defend. To take no damage. And of course the orb is not going to be super useful because it's just going to strike one of their already armored selves. That's fine. Let's see. Team cell only does two damage. That's lame. Let's see what he wants to do. Okay, he killed that. That's pretty cool. Alright, strike that. That's dead. And then, I guess... I mean, that's just going to do vulnerable. So I'm going to take damage here regardless. I think I'll just take Zap. That way I can at least deal some damage back. And... Strike. Defend. And dead. Oh, I didn't even have to defend, right. Power potion! These are so neat. I love the way that they change these potions. So much better. Um, I guess... I guess I could try for Steam Barrier. At least it's some block. He doesn't get very much block, I noticed. But we do have Buffer, which is really good. Um... Well, I don't need Steam Barrier now, that's for sure. I was hoping to get Zap. That would have been nice. Definitely kill this guy first, because he's going to be really ridiculous and strong. And that bad guy just wants to lick us the whole time. That's awesome. You can do that, my friend. Uh, I think we'll defend. Well, I guess we are going to have to double defend. Stupid Frail. If it wasn't for Frail, we would be okay, I think. Oh, this is bad. This is not great news, but we're, yeah, we're still Frail. Great. Fantastic. Well, I could do Vulnerable and then Strike. I could do fusion, but I think I'll just double defend. And I really wish these things would af be affected by vulnerable. That's the one thing I hate about him. Is that they do not get affected by vulnerable. This should kill him, right? Eight and eight? Yeah, that'll kill him. Dead. Energy. Leap is a lot of block, too. Uh, go for the eyes is really good too, but I think I'm gonna go for leap. Let's just get some block going for sure. So the question mark. 
Upgrade two random cards, lose 15 HP? Sure, why not? I mean, if we're gonna die, we're gonna die. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter whether we do that or not. Upon pickup, choose an attack card. Okay. What attack do I want in my hand all the time? Could go for the upgraded strike. I think I'll just go for beam cell. I mean, it does apply vulnerable, so it makes sense. Let's rest because this guy is shitty when it comes to HP. He hemorrhages it like it's um, blood coming from a flowing open uh, wound. Nah, I don't think I want your doubt, dude. Get out of here. Not this time. It's the Mask Salesman from uh, Majora's Mask. Or, um, uh, not Link to the Past, uh, Ocarina of Time. There we go. It's not the same guy, but, you know, it's kind of the same thing. What do you want to do? Let me touch. Maybe trade. You want to you wanna touch my face? Please don't do that. I would have to lose 7 HP for him to touch my face. 50% good face, 50% bad face. I don't know what the fuck that means, but I'll take it. Is that bad? Start each combat with one week. Oh man. You piece of shit. And that's one of the bad things, too, is you can't get rid of relics at all. Like, like there's no way to get rid of them. So if you get a shitty relic, like, you're just, you're fucked. And starting with one week is so, so... So bad. Maybe I can smith here? What should I smith? What? Oh, that would make it cheaper. Yeah, I think I'm gonna smith fusion. Fusion is so good, it's just so expensive. It's hard to justify using it. But now that it's less expensive, definitely more more reason to use it, I think. Beam cell, sweeping beam. There's fusion! Uh, I'm gonna take a shitload of damage, but I'll do fusion and defend. And maybe I won't take a shitload of damage. Two energy? Nah. Save it for later. Ouch. Well, there's some block. That's good. That's a lot of block. Take that strike. And strike. And strike. Fusion. Oh, fusion is so good. Boom, boom, dead. Good stuff. I want this attack potion. Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of this artifact potion. I hate those potions. They're probably the worst. I still love the way they change capacitor. Oh my god, it's so good. I'm taking it. Capacitor is so useful. Probably one more rest for sure. We're headed to the boss. We've got a power card and a... Wait, attack card and an, a power card, which is good. This stupid boss. Ooh, I could get fusion going right off the bat. That's nice. Beam cell. Sweeping beam and strike plus. Might as well do it while he's vulnerable. Ooh, interesting. That looks nice. Hyper beam melter, yeah! Hell yeah, I'll take Milter. <laughs> so good. What kind of powers do we have here? Ooh, free creative AI? Please. That's awesome. I suppose I could even use my energy potion if I wanted to, but not really. It's not going to do anything this turn. Well, goop spray, but that's it. Oh, the static discharge. I got that one for free. Nice. Ah, he's gonna have a nasty attack next time. That's not great. Zap. Let's strike. I guess we'll do static discharge just in case we do get hit. All the rest of these are shitty. Shitty and unnecessary. Now the trick is, can I split him? I don't think I can. Oh, Buffer! Buffer came in just at the right time. Thank you, Buffer. Capacitor, loop. Good stuff. Beautiful. No damage. But I still get the static discharge? Or no, I don't think I actually did. Yeah, it says when receiving attack damage, and technically you didn't do any damage to me. That's unfortunate. Beam cell, strike. 
Another static discharge. Sure, why not? Zap. Leap. I guess I could have got rid of this slime, but eh. I'm not too worried about it. No! He split already! Damn it. Damn it. I wasn't ready for that. You bastards. Although, I mean, I could just absolutely wreck him with static discharge. Like, I'm probably going to end up doing that. Static discharge. Strike plus on you, because I hate you the most. Um... I don't think I can get him down, though. I guess I'll use Steam Barrier to get the block going. Mm, I guess I... Yeah, I guess I'll use my Energy Potion. Use Defend and use Slimed. Get rid of it. There we go. Good stuffs. And more Slime. Great. Another Fusion. Awesome. And another Static Discharge, which is probably just overkill at this point. Boom, boom. Wrap. Oh, he's gonna split. Okay, cool. Ooh, take a little bit more damage before you split. Awesome. Oh, they both split. Damn. Melter. Damn it, I'm weakened, though. That is not great. Let's see. Zap. Loop. Beam cell on this dude, because he's doing some damage. Melter. That does some pretty good damage. Strike. And that should set him up nicely for death, hopefully. Damn it, it didn't strike him. That's fine. This is, however, a boss, so I mean, it's not that bad. What is that? Whenever you play a power channel when lightning... Kinda of crazy, except for the fact that I have no more powers. Sweeping beam! Almost killed everybody. Leap. Yeah, let's leap. And we'll do steam barrier. And... Yeah, I don't really have any powers right now. Unfortunately. Get rid of that guy, I guess. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. Oh, you just wait until I evoke these orbs. Oh, look! Evoke. Dead. Oh, I can't evoke again, though. Yeah, that's fine. Good. Not too shabby. Draw one additional card. Search your pile. Meteor strike. It's too expensive. Hmm. I think I'll take Seek. Seek is a pretty good card. Cursed key... Philosopher's Stone. Frozen Core? What is that? Replaces Cracked Core. If you end your turn with empty orb slots, channel one Frost. Huh. Okay, well that's pretty okay. I don't think I've heard of that one. So that just basically um, replaces the relic that he starts with. Which is interesting. Uh, let's see here. Do, do, do. Where do we want to go? Definitely seen a place I can go where there's no elites. That's nice. I do so like to dodge elites. Pretty good at it, too, because that means I live, pretty much. So it's something I have to pay attention to, usually. Beam cell. Alright, beam cell on you. Then we'll do Sweeping Beam. And Strike Plus on you. There we go. Good. And then... Leap. And we've got the Frozen thing, so we'll get a Frozen... Yeah, nice. Good stuff. Alright, that worked out pretty well. Pretty good. What does this do? Choose one card from your drop pile and place it in your hand. Is there anything I need? I mean, Capacitor would be nice. Yeah, capacitor would be real nice. Let's do that. I'll take capacitor. And... Well, I don't have a whole lot of damage here, so I think... I don't have a ton of defense either, so I guess I'll just fusion defend. I think that's going to be how it's going to be for now. I'll take some damage, of course. Ouch. 
And now we got more energy from the plasma. Yes. Crap. It's still not enough damage. Are you serious? Serious? You're not going to give me enough damage? Well, I guess I'll just layer it on this guy, I suppose. There. Oh, we block everything. That's good. Where the hell are these frost things coming from? What? It says... If you end your turn with empty... Oh, with empty orb slots! I thought it meant just empty slots altogether. Like you had to have all empty... Oh, that's really strong. So that means it's just going to keep filling up with ice. Oh, wow, that's... That is something different. That is something else. I gotta say, I like it. Get him down. Sleep. Do I need more? Nah, I'm good. 17, wow. That is crazy good. Another fusion. I don't think I want a dual cast, though. Zap. Um... Hmm. Strike him, I guess? Yeah, we'll do that. And that is going to be 15 incoming damage. 2, 4, 6. Yeah, it's not going to be enough. There we go. I don't want to dual cast because it will just dual cast this for more defense, which I don't need. Sweeping beam. Man, can I get some attacks? Boy, that would be nice. Like, some attacks would be phenomenal so I can knock these suckers out of the sky. That would be nice. Still not enough. Should be fine, though. Uh, I'm gonna take some damage, that's for sure. Just give me some attacks! Oh, okay, that should work. Beam cell, sweeping beam, and strike plus. It's enough to knock him out of the sky. Perfect. Alright, fusion. There's some more energy. And I think we'll just go ahead and finish him off. That's good stuff. This guy is getting stronger and stronger. I just don't like it. I just don't have enough attacks. It's just not drawing me enough attacks. But we got plenty of defense here. That's good. And I guess we'll give him an attack. Ow. Wait, that did no damage, I think. Yeah, good. Good stuff. Dual cast. Zap. Well, I could have probably done that better. Yeah, I definitely could have done that better. Well, actually, no. Because the dual cast is fine. It would gain me 10 block. And then... Let's see, that's 20 block. 22 block. That's enough. I don't need to use steam barrier. Please, give me attacks. Where are my attacks? There's one. See, we could get a ton of energy, but I don't really want to. I don't really need it. Is this going to kill him? Nope, not quite enough. Because they take 50% damage when they're flying. Terrible. I mean, I could dual cast, but it's just going to give me a crap load of energy. It would give me four energy for nothing. I would have no cards. Stupid. Oh, he's dead. Finally. Good. Beam cell. Auto shields is kind of cool. Charge battery is cool, too. I think I'm going to go with charge battery. It's just extra energy. Really good stuff. Oh, God. Do I have enough HP for this? I think I do. Yes, I do. Just barely. Ah, oh, the Necronomicon. Why is it always the fucking Necronomicon? All the time. They need to add more books to that. This is so ridiculous. Do I want... Yeah, I'll take one colorless card and leave. What was that? That's new. I've never seen that before. Impatience. If you have no attack cards in your hand, draw two cards. Hey, pff, that's nice. I could have used that last time. That would have been super nice. Hey, dude, you are hopefully going to die. Capacitor. I can't dual cast. Oh, right. With the crack thing, you don't get the uh, electric 
thing in the beginning. That's pretty rough. Even so. Um, so yeah, I can't dual cast, uh, but I can leap. That'll be nine. Eleven. Yeah, that should be enough. I don't need steam barrier. Because yeah, it's going to give me that frozen orb, which is cool. There's charge battery, which will give me ne more energy next turn, which might be great. Yeah. What does this one do again? What does the Necronomicon do? First attack that costs two or more is played twice. Problem is, I don't think I have any attacks that cost two or more. I don't. That sucks. What I could do is I could use Seek to get Fusion and play Fusion and play Charge Battery and play Defend, I guess. There's no reason to, but I can. <laughs> But now we've got a lot of energy this turn. So, we go ahead and do some damage. We don't need to defend, but now I have no attacks in my hand, so I can play Impatience. And there's an attack. Bam. And I don't need defense, so I don't want to take the dazes. Dazes are horrible. This might end up being my last run, probably. I just ran out of water. Dang. Uh, let's see, that's not an attack, so if we just do BAM, we can use Impatience again. Nice. There's another attack. Now, Buffer would only stop one of his attacks, he's not going to stop both of them. Which is... unfortunate. Hmm. Let's see, two, four, six, eight... Uh, yeah, I think Buffer could work. It should work. And then we don't want to do anything else. We could strike, because there's no reason not to. And then, boom, yeah, perfect. So we block one, and Buffer completely blocks the damage from the other one. Okay, cool. Alright, that works for me. Little tiny bit of damage. And then just a bunch of stupid block. This is just the way the game is. When you don't need block, it just gives you shitloads of block. And then when you need it, look, no block. Well, I mean charge battery is block, but it's not much. Not much block at all, and a daze, of course. And I'm probably dead, unfortunately. That's pretty close, that's like 10 damage. Ridiculous. Use Sweeping Beam. I could dual cast. I think I am going to dual cast. That's going to give me 10 defense. And then that'll give me 15 defense and then fusion. And I'm just going to take dazes like crazy, apparently. I hate Hex. Like, I don't understand why Hex lasts the whole entire fight. That I don't understand. And I'm dead. That's it. It's over. Well, we tried. Nothing else she can do. Dead. I mean, I could use the smoke bomb, but I don't want to run away. But, yeah, I mean, you saw it here first. The game is still basically unbeatable. And, I mean, it's fun to play, but it's, it's, it's just too hard. It's to the point where it just... It loses its fun after a while because the game has so much in its favor, and the player has very, very little in their favor. Very little. I mean, even that one run when I was having so much fun with my Ironclad, they still found a way to, to shit all over me, because that's what this game does. If I had to write a review of this game, it would be prepare yourself, prepare your anus, because this game will chew you up, spit you out, then chew you up again, and then shit you out, and then take that shit that it shat out, and then it's going to rape you. That's just what it's going to do, period. And as I said before, it's going to kick you in the dick, period. There is just, there is very few wins in this game. Like, if you look at my statistics, I think I've had maybe four wins in this game, maybe a little more. Is there any way you can tell how many wins? 
pretty sure you can. My fastest victory was one hour and five minutes. There we go. Total victories, seven. Total deaths, 44. I'm, I'm just saying, that doesn't seem balanced to me at all. I mean, I know it's supposed to be hard, but holy fuck. This game isn't hard, it's damn near impossible. It's, it's nigh impossible. It is possible to win, but man, it is so close to being impossible. But anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and probably play some Borderlands 2, because, you know, that's a game that's actually fun and good balanced, and I can actually make progress in it, whereas I can't make progress in this game. Fucking give up on this game. It's, uh, it's, it's one that I love to stream, and I do love to play, but it's just, it's one that I can play for, like, a couple of hours, and then I'm like, I don't want to play it again for, like, a month. Because I fucking hate how difficult it is. And this is why I would never, ever buy Darkest Dungeon. Ever. I mean, if somebody got it for me, I, I guess I would try it. I would be inclined to try it, but good god. That game is just as bad as Slay the Spire, probably. It really is. But, I mean, like I said, as the game is fun, though. It's super fun. It's fun to play. A lot of fun to play. But just know you're not going to win, you know? I mean, just keep looking at your statistics and keep thinking 7 victories and 40, 44 deaths. That's almost 45 deaths. Which means, I believe... No, wait, that's not right. A 7 times 5 is 35. I was like, it's 1 in, one in 5 runs as a victory. But that's not necessarily true. It's actually more than that. I don't know. You would have to do... Let's just do the math, shall we? We'll just do the math. Let's see what it is. 44 divided by 7 equals... That is probably not what I was looking for. That is not at all what I was looking for. Hmm. Maybe let's not do the math. I don't even understand it. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, that would be percentages, I believe. So it would be like I win 6.4% of the time, or 6.4% of the runs. It's horrible. Horrible. I mean, even Binding of Isaac is much better than that. But then again, Binding of Isaac actually gives the player what they need most of the time. And it's not, it doesn't come down to just ridiculous RNG, which is kind of the same with Sword of the Stars of the Pit, or at least I'm told. I mean, apparently I'm playing it on easy, and I'm, I'm having a good time. So, I might come back with more Sword of the Stars of the Pit, maybe. I probably won't be playing the one that I'm playing now, and I'm not going back to my Marine either, because, oh my god, I, I fucked that up big time. I noticed so much that I did wrong, because I'm watching Vanguard of Valor play it now, and he he's a great tutorial. Like, he's the one that taught me how to play FTL the way that I do, because he has so many tutorials on FTL. He's like an FTL master. And so I saw that he was playing Sword of the Stars the Pit, and I was like, ah, oh, you know, I'll check it out. And he, 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 he just taught me so much stuff. And then the song taught me what he could teach me, but he wasn't there all night, so... I mean, I had to learn the hard way, and it was bad. I did really bad on that. So, yeah. Anyway, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, and you did enjoy the video, go ahead and leave a like. It does help out a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more. Share. Comment. And if you're watching this on Twitch, if anybody's in the chat, I don't know if there is because, you know, Twitch doesn't let us see our viewers unless we click that button. And if I click that button, I'm just going to see a whole bunch of bots and I don't know who's a viewer. Um, if you did like it, though, you can go ahead and follow if you want. I stream a lot of different games. Um, and I just I just have fun streaming. And I probably won't be streaming Slay the Spire for quite a long time because it's... You know, assault level. The assault level is rising. And it's risen to the point where it's like over my head and I'm drowning in salt. So I'm done. I need to drain the salt a bit. So, yeah. But, oh, and I should be having more uh, Gaming with Game Team coming to my YouTube channel soon. Because I, I explained this at first. That I was 
Um, I'm trying to catch up on my backlog of streams, uh, releasing them on YouTube, because I have them all exported, it's just I haven't released them, because I don't want to release them all, because it's like 10 hours of streams that I have backlog. it's probably even more than that, actually, it's probably like 50 hours or something like that. I got like 5 of them or something like that, you know, Gamescom is going on right now, right? What? Gamescom? What is that, Mark? I don't know what that is. No, I'm just a little streamer. I don't know anything, really. <laughs> oh, by the way, welcome. Or maybe not. I don't know. It's the biggest thing next to E3. Oh, nice. Well, I never go to E3. It's E3's competitor. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, see, I never get to go to E3. I'm I'm a broke ass loser. I can't I can't get a job. Like nobody will hire me, so I just I'm trying to hopefully maybe make Twitch somewhat of a thing. <laughs> oh, it's being streamed live on Twitch right now. I would love to watch it, but I can't actually watch stuff on Twitch. My internet is so bad. If I try to watch stuff on Twitch, it just errors, and then it stops running. And it usually just locks up my whole entire, um, my browser. It's so shitty. I hate it because I can't watch, like, my favorite streamers and stuff. I have to watch Vinny on YouTube. I have to watch his, like, archive of streams and stuff. It's unfortunate. I'm not even supposed to be streaming. Like, I, I just I just do it because I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> on their website, on IGN, and on YouTube as well. I wish I could. I wish I could. Although then again, I'm not really huge into E3s. Like, I don't watch anybody's E3 announcements and stuff because it doesn't matter to me. I, like I said, I have no money. I, I, I have no, no big consoles. Like, all my consoles are old and whatnot. I mean, I have money when it comes to... Or I have games when it comes to Steam, but that's pretty much it. <laughs> and my computer's not the greatest. But anyway, like I said, I do think I am just going to go ahead and leave it there. Um, like I said, I think I'm going to go play some Borderlands 2 because I, I'm like super overpowered in Borderlands 2. I want to go from this game that just piles the salt on you from dump trucks to a game where I can just kill the badasses in one shot. It's going to be fun. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next stream. It should be, uh, what is this, Wednesday? It should be Friday morning, I believe. And I'm not really sure what I'm going to stream. Maybe... I'm not even really sure. It's probably going to be maybe some more Sword of the Stars The Pit. Kind of liking that game a lot. I'd love to stream Borderlands, but, I mean, the way I play, nobody's going to want to watch. And um, it would probably look trash, anyway, on the stream because my, my internet's terrible. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next stream. Bit of a sound.